Greetings, adventurers! I am the friendly neighborhood dungeon master, otherwise known as the FNDM, and this is Cold Hard Witch, brought to you by Lawful Stupid RPG. This is a D&D live stream of the Rime of the Frost Maiden module, brought to you tonight in all its chilly glory. So, sitting around the table tonight as we gather around the campfire, we have Herrick, the clerically speaking warrior. We have Feriel, our drogue. Uh, we have uh, Xander, the wizard. We have uh, uh, we have the professor, played uh, the warlock, and of course Flynn, the fighter. And uh, is that everybody? Zalvana, no. Zalvana the bard. <gasps> Zalvana the bard. Last but not least, um, stuck the landing. Stuck the <laughs> land. Superhero landing. Oh, it's so bad on the knees. All right. So uh, when last we left our gang of good timers, they had just attended the winter festival in the town of East Haven. Now, fun was had, but of course, so was murder, as they discovered that the town speaker, Denneth Whalen, was killed unknowingly in his own town hall. After a brief bit of confusion, chaos, and general concophony, the group discovered that it was, in fact, a pack of Durgar. Durgar, or Dwarger. Yeah, had infiltrated the town of East Haven and murdered the speaker, or so we think. So, as the party burst onto the barge that is the East the Eastway Ferry, uh, fighting ensued, more murder was had, and did anybody die? No, no, it's no. close. Yeah. Nobody on the party side of things, and of course, yeah. I believe they were even able to take a hostage. Some yes. Tra now, if trap. you mean Durgar, we iced the crap out of two Durgar, and then we, <laughs> we got one for hostage. Yeah, no, one no, no. One got away. One yeah. got away. One yeah, uh, fairy As always, wrote. trap MVP. Mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, and of course, <laughs> Herrick's classic bear trap to, for a for a clutch win. Uh, say really, yeah. Well, he's picked he's, <laughs> he's picked that back up, ready to yeah. use. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> you son of a bitch! All right, the bear trap so, is the seventh party member. Yeah, yeah pretty much. Wait, wait, I thought I thought Paul the Axe Beak was. Oh the yeah, you're true, member. true. So eight. Yep. Then. So, yep. Oh my god! All right, good. So we return yet again to the East Haven Ferry. I say, savvy adventurers will note the new addition of a dock. But ah. <laughs> mm, um, when we last left the game, the party had managed to uh, take prisoner one of the Jurgar. As one of them had fled, we now go to the boat. Where's the My money? <laughs> 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 I will. I will look at at Herrick and say, "Do you want to? Do you want to do this, or do you want me to do this?" Oh, well, you're not gonna slit his throat in front of the ladies, are you? Oh no, no, no. I mean, talk to him. We're probably the only two that can. <sighs> but if his throat needs slitting, that's something I could help you with. Good to know. I'm sure the uh, the local authorities might want to speak to him. Well, they're um, not here yet, are they? Uh, do I hear, get anything from Tempest on that, Ryan? Tempest, so I, my, my owl familiar is still I, flying around above. Yeah, I'm so glad. So glad you asked. So as your owl familiar is flying around above, uh, she, she, he, they, she, she, they, she uh, sends back to you and say, uh, "Town guards are on the way." So guards will be here soon, and so in, I will. I will look at, all right, Klaska, the Durgar, and Indeed. in and in Dwarvish, I will say. Tell me why you're here. And Classico goes, <laughs> spits on the ship in front of you. And I, then well, everybody. Aww. Secret secrets. Everyone. Everyone. Everyone except Feriel. Oh, I was like, that's going to be a weird Whoa. secret if no one can hear it. <laughs> it's just for the viewers. <laughs> yeah, right? Secret just hey, for the friends. audience. It's hard because I've got to open take back headphones. Check in with you. Yeah, yeah. I've got open back headphones. I have to put my hands over like this. I hold them like this so I can't hear. No, I love it. I love it. All right. All right. So. All right. Everyone's good. All right. 
So, Fariel, as the as Klaska spits on the deck of the ship, in Undercommon, you hear, Ugh, bitch, pay us money to kill the speaker, and now we've been betrayed. Mm. So you were paid. I'll respond in Undercommon. He turns. And then, in common, and then common, he says, you're a bit far from home, aren't you, Dark One? Same could be said for you. <laughs> Zaradok will burn the ten towns to the ground. You may have struck a blow by killing his son today, but his brother will come for you. Spits again on the ground. Look, if you want to get out of this alive, you might want to be a little more forthcoming with information. Are we back, Brian? You're back. Hey, was there a signal? I didn't see the signal. Right. What, uh, what language was that, by the way? It was under common. Okay, because I know deep speech. Yeah, I know. I double checked your character sheets before I played this game. So. <laughs> 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 On occasion, I don't just improvise. All right. So, uh, and then, and and so, as as you all hear, uh, Amy, if you'd like to repeat Fariel's last line. Yeah. I said, if you want to get out of this alive, I suggest you share some information. And then shortly after that. You know, four guards come stomping up the plankway. Clonk, 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 clonk. Uh, so, uh, Imdra sent us. Uh, is everything all right? Do you require assistance? Well, did you catch the one that got away? One got away? Yeah, yeah. did you not see him? He, he must have been running right he past turned, you. He, he turned, they turned invisible. <sighs> we, uh, well, and he, he, he shouts uh, about the, the, the last guy on the, on the dock. Go! Tell the captain! They're invisible! Alert the, the others, and he runs back up the dock, like hoofing it, like and obviously like, he looks like the youngest recruit, so maybe the fastest one. But he's definitely just hauling butt back to town hall. So, all right, well, oh, well, uh, Captain Imdra said that we, we were to come here and assist you in any way we can. Do, do, you, do we need to secure the ferry or? or... Uh, yeah. fa fa fairy L, be what, my guest. Uh, are we are we good? Are we not good? I think we're good. Oh, okay. I, I think I think we you could uh ch check the just check the surroundings, I think. Make sure he, he'll be leaving footprints in the snow. Don't don't go far though. We probably want to take this guy back to the captain. Right. Right. Uh all right. Uh, uh Samson, you stay here, Samson, and, and guard the dock and and the two of us will escort the uh God, is that a Durgar? Correct. Indeed. Well, John, I I didn't think Durgar liked boats. <laughs> well, when you gotta get away, you gotta get away. Huh? Sometimes oh. you do what you gotta do. Right. Indeed. Uh, shall we escort you back to the to the town hall? I think we can get back on our own. Yes. Yeah, oh. We want to make sure that, that there's no one else lurking down below and we've cleaned up any mess that they left behind. Of course, oh, uh, yeah, of, of course, of course. And then, and shortly, oh, the kid comes huffing back. Like, <laughs> Captain, they're looking. God, what I miss. It sounds like you need a short rest, son. Or maybe yeah. a little cardio, one or the other. No. <laughs> or lay off the oh, birds. <laughs> oh, I just brought up some knucklehead. Ooh. Just you shouldn't run free. excessively after a pie eating contest. No, no. you really shouldn't. No. no, no. So, uh, do we? Do we? Uh, hold on, son. Hold on. All right. So we'll secure the All boat, right. and will you? Are they crowding you? us? Right? I can't. I don't. Since they don't have tokens, I'm not super sure where they are, Ryan. Oh, uh, understandable. So they are currently standing here on the dock. As it. One second. As I struggle to get the right tool. There we go. So, uh, they are currently here on the dock. Let me go ahead and... 
So as they're sort of standing at the dock itself, and they're like, "Do you require us to escort the prisoner back, or, or? Uh, moment, momentarily, momentarily?" Oh, and oh. since she spoke with him in a language I don't understand, I will look back at Furiel, and in uh, in Elvis, I'll say, "I guess it's your show." Got a little bit of him. I'm in Elvish back. Got a little bit of information. Not sure we should share it with the guards just yet. I'll fill you in as soon as they're gone. Should we, in Elvish as well, should we turn him over to them to go to the prison? I think for now that's fine. He might be a little slippery though. Uh, captain, uh, uh, or, I'm sorry, he's not a captain, Ryan. He's a. No, that would be me. As coming up the plank, you see Imdra, so. Excellent. We um, we managed to deal with two. We caught one, and unfortunately, one got away. So four total. Well, four that we know of at the moment. We were gonna turn this one over to your guards, and then go make sure there's no more downstairs. I see. Well, with these things loose in the town, and with the fact that they um can turn invisible, that's gonna present some issues. I'll I'll double the guard where I can. I, I would, I would greatly appreciate your assistance in this. Uh, if you have any further help to give, I'm not sure what what task brought you to my town, but you seem to have arrived at a rather fortuitous crossroads. Well, we're uh, just looking for work. Excellent. What would you have us do? Good paying work, that is, you know. Oh. Of course, of course. I'll, I'll, uh, I'll have to talk to this. Well, I'll have to talk to Prudence now. But um, I'm sure. How, how is she? Is she, she better. She better, better. These in the Dales, we are no strangers to death, especially sudden. But she is still young by most reckoning and so I'm sure it's the first murder she's had to deal with especially with the blood on her hands but um, I'm sure she'll be fine meanwhile we have a city to save and Durgar to catch if you'd be so kind to follow me back to the town hall men secure this prisoner make sure he does not leave your sight she eyes the three. It's gonna, it's gonna like add in like he might be a little slippery, so extra eyes. No, no. They do turn invisible, so perhaps not just worrying about sight, but maybe something get a hold of him. Put a mm. bell on him. Yeah, yeah. tie rope. <laughs> now, to my recollection, players, you did bind him last game. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. Okay. Please. Excellent. So, uh, with that, the guard sort of moved towards the dirt. Uh, may I? May I? Take the bindings, and then so uh, is, is the rope. Is anyone holding on to the rope, or is he just bound to, but with the rope? I, I would think that 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 um, Flynn would have also been holding the rope once he bound him. Yeah. Like, was it rope or manacles? I rope. I only had rope, so like I okay. would have like tied him up. So, then. Who walks around with manacles? Hey, hmm. This is D and D, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. That's very Eric's true. Eric's got half the player's handbook on his, his backpack. So. <laughs> yeah. Now. Up until this point, I didn't expect anybody to walk around with a bear trap, but here I am. Have I got manacles? There you go. Have I got manacles? Um, yes, but I, I think we'll turn the the reins over. We'll be we'll be by to collect our 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 rope. Uh, we're gonna just do a quick sweep down below, make sure there are no more hiding, and then we'll be meet you at town hall, Captain. Um, absolutely. Uh, men, take this prisoner back to town hall. I have uh, something to discuss. Uh, of course, of course, of course. And they, I'm gonna say the. Four guards wind up gathering up Klaska, taking him, and then walking him down the plank, and then he is outie. Uh, at which point, Imdra walks forward to you, and <clears throat> I thank you all for your help, especially in this rather difficult time. Um, let's, uh, while we take a peruse around the ship, I, I have a favor to ask of you. 
So, we begin searching the ship. Mm -hmm. Lead the way. Sure. Excellent. So, uh, where did you see the activity in the I blue decks? We'll, yeah, I think we'll head right, right to his, Excellent. right Excellent. to the, the captain's quarters. Excellent. Area. So behind that curtain, yeah. So Imdra will move to the back of the ship, and as she does that, she's going to start to talk. Uh, as soon as everyone gets kind of below deck, she'll uh, she'll start chatting with everybody around the table. Yawned. Well, they certainly set up a nice little camp for themselves in here. Definitely smells like Jergar. <clears throat> DM, do, do I have she a... looks over at she kind of looks at Herrick with that comment and then turns away from him. Yes, do, Amelia. Do, do I have a scent? on uh, what she would do if I just started searching the two bodies while she's talking. So I've got a passive insight of 16, by the way. Mm. I mean, do, would I think she'd be... With that kind of comment about the Durgar, I don't think she would care that I'm searching them, right? Uh, just say, you, you're say more than welcome to, uh, to give it a shot. Uh, no, nothing has... Nothing she has done has indicated that she would be like... Um, that she would frown upon such activities, nor has she come across as like a for justice and virtue. You know. Gotcha. So. Okay. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna roll. I, sorry, could I assist Xander in searching the bodies? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Of course. Of course. I'm gonna start with the one that that was on the stairs. The the, <clears throat> the one that had the dagger that gave the psychic damage to to Fariel. Yes. I'm yes. Start with him. Okay. Excellent. Excellent. So, Do you want to roll with advantage, or should we both I roll? am. Uh, so okay. I got a 15 on that. Good. Good. All right. With that 15, you are able to locate that dagger, mm -hmm. um, which seems to be a, a, a normal dagger, uh, as it were. It has, a, has one of those, like, uh, one of those, like, wave crisp blades on it. So it's got that sort of flame blade look to it. But other than the rather uh, ornate function of it and, and the handle itself appears to be made out of a, uh, of a, of an obsidian or like a, a, a smooth black stone that, mm. um, about that, uh, if you remember correctly, uh, the, I believe that was the professor who found darts made of a similar, uh, material on yeah. one of the Durgar. Yep. So, uh, I will give that to, to Herrick to look at since he Excellent. was looking for a dagger earlier and I heard him go, ooh, when you said the stone. Mm. Um, it, and then Imdra uh, sees you and says, let me know if you find anything useful. And what was what was that type again, the uh, the Durgar type? Durgar type. It was, it was a mind... Oh, he's a mind master. Mind master. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do I know what any of those are? In terms of the Durgar Mind Master, yeah, do I know anything about Durgar? Oh, uh, roll, me a, uh, roll me a history check. As a dwarf in the in the lands of Faerun, you would certainly have come across. Um, Twenty. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> so that's a that's a big old positive right there. Uh, yeah. So uh, the Durgar Mind Masters are basically uh, so the Durgar are essentially the the dark dwarves as it were mm -hmm. um and then like the mind master itself is sort of their version of uh, a spell caster however in, instead of working in the arcane uh they work in the realm of psychics and they have been known to sort of uh, you you yourself herrick have seen them like turn fellow dwarves against themselves uh, against their own uh yeah against their own party members. Uh, and also, Fariel, you know very well the the pain that they are able to inflict with uh, their psychic attacks. So they are... Uh, what you took out on this ship was no... no small creature. This was not some trifle. No, no ordinary kind of Durgar. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Wow. There any other kind of, you know, identification or... I mean, do they carry wallets, or does he have a chain with his with his name on it? <laughs> Master of the mind. Yeah, right. No, no, no. So uh, there. So the he himself doesn't have any other indi uh, indicators of uh, uh, of uh, of identification. However, Fariel was able to uh, catch a snippet from the Jurgar during her conversation on the boat with him. Oh, okay. 
then we'll we'll come back to that. Uh, yeah. Can the professor and I search the other one? Yes. Incoming 17. 17. Okay, again. Uh, and this Durgar is armed similar to the other Durgar. Um, he's, you know, got his war pick, uh, root, like rudimentary armor, that sort of deal going on. Uh, again, no no signifier or like no emblems or clans because, you know, uh, in working with dwarves and, and having known them, like they specifically have clan emblems or some sort of like image of uh, imagery from their gods. This it, one, if I'm honest, that's where I was going with that question earlier, but I could not think of dwarven clan. <laughs> and so I said wallet. No worries, no worries. Um, but, name, yeah, tag. Yeah, yeah. Ah, well, name tag. Oh, oh it's right there. The, Is, do um, they have his W2 on him? Allergy oh, yeah. bracelet. <laughs> <laughs> is the war pick anything to write home about? I mean, is it something we should take to sell? Or it is a it is a standard war pick. So you are, I mean, you are able to take it and resell it. Uh, if you if somebody wants to carry that around, I'm sure um, Garn would uh, welcome a, a chance at uh, being able to resell a war pick. Uh, Thoughts? Anyone? Yeah, I mean, we could loot that stuff. Um, just to quickly DM, the knife that I won, you called it the cook's knife, yeah? Yes, it was the uh, chef's blade. Chef's blade, okay. Yes, hello? <laughs> so, Annabelle, she also wishes to add some uh, roll for insight. <laughs> All right, so uh, as you finish up sort of searching the bodies, uh, Imdra looks to you, Xander and Professor. Anything of use? Just the the dagger and the war pick, um, rudimentary armor, nothing, nothing seemingly to write home about. Damn, I know. Um, what uh, and uh, what, what about in the room? Uh, maps, papers, anything of the sort? Uh, is the just just what you see? I think um, I, I'm going to go into the bedroom area with the war pick and kind of like I was doing with my sword, but less elegantly, kind of trace through just to make sure there's no one. Brilliant, brilliant. Um, look at the bedside table and I picked up that map off the table last time a map let me see this are you saying that oh I'm sorry I thought you said that to the DM well I was but it's fine um yeah this was on the table excellent and and, and, they will Imdra takes the map rolls it out this is this is the Ten Towns. Look. Look, look, the larger red dots. That's that's Targos, mm-hmm. Bryn Shander, East Haven. What the hell would a Durgar party of four be doing with a map of Ten Towns? Is there, is there any writing on that, DM? So the map in and of itself has uh, no writing on it. Well, actually, hang on a second. I might be lying to you there, but... You have been known to yeah, do that. Yeah, they had anything in particular marked or crossed off or anything. Yeah, right. All right, right. So, as you're kind of pouring over the map, no, it's so it's got marks that locate. So, just like Imdra said, each of the marks correlates to each of the ten towns. But there's also, oh no, there's an eleventh mark on here. Uh, and and a twelfth one too. Though it looks like they're somewhere on the mountain. Curious. Hmm. Twelve marks, two of which on Kelvin's car. Oh, oh, and- oh. it's. Uh, I don't. It looks like. I I don't I don't understand the language. It appears to be some sort of runes. Uh, here, uh, Herrick, would you take a look uh, at that? I'll have a look. And then, sure enough, uh, all the places in the maps are written out in dwarfish. Hmm. All of the red dots on the map are places where there have been uh, cold-hearted killer attacks? You are correct. Okay. However, there are also additionally more red dots. So the larger red dots are the two are the major towns in yes. ten towns. And then there are all the towns and they're all named there, Termalin, Lonely Wood, Care Dinaval, Care Koenig, East Haven, and then the two red dots that are on Kelvin's Karn, it only says 
Sunblight and Outpost. Huh. I'll relay this information. Uh, very well. Uh, what was that language you were talking? I've heard it before. You heard it before, then you should know it. No, I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard it before. Does anyone here speak Draconic? No. All right. I wanted to make sure that Sunblight wasn't some sort of dwarven translation of the name of the White Dragon. Mmm. All right, well, this is certainly a thorn in my side. Now to the other problem that I'm having. I've gotten reports of fishermen going missing. Now, between this attack on our speaker and uh, supposedly an infestation of Durgar in the town, uh, I don't have the resources to spare to send soldiers out to, to search for them. And I was hoping that you might be able to assist me in that matter. How many fishermen are we, are we talking? Is it, is it a... Just a couple, or is it well, 50 within, fishermen that have disappeared? They all well, within, disappeared once, or...? Within the past 10 days, we've lost four. Now, it, it uh, on occasion, a boat goes missing, and they wind up showing back up, or, or uh, they, they pitch over the side. But within this past 10 days, we've lost four. And then before that, within the last... Oh, within the last six, 10 days, we have lost somewhere between... 15 to 20 on the ice. Now, I understand sometimes fishers get a little sauced, one goes over the side, these things happen. But to lose whole boats of men? Were so they, we're all lost were they... from the water? We don't know. We just know that the boats haven't come back, neither have they. Were they headed for the same area? Oh, yeah. yeah. I say with the... Uh, with the rhyme in full force for the past two years, the fishing has gotten smaller and smaller as the ice has compacted it into a, a, a smaller area. Here, I, she goes ahead and like pulls out the map that you guys are just looking at. Uh, uh, right here on, on Loch Dinesher. You see this uh, sort of a, a patch of blue right there. That's where all the uh, knucklehead can be found, or at least the ones that we can get to. I mean, it, it must be pretty far to take a boat to get to liquid water. Mm -hmm. Now. Mm -hmm. So you will need... Go ahead and trek one across the ice and try to see if you can't do a little bit of uh, fishing yourselves. Well, we don't actually have a boat. Oh. Well, well I'm, I'm, his foot on one. I see. mean, what about this <laughs> boat? Well, the, well, the ferry. <laughs> and so she she kind of looks at you all and goes, you know the ferry's encased in ice, right? That's oh, yes. why it's closed. But I mean, I'm... You, and if you want to try to pull the ferry out from the ice, well, oh no, then, we will need a. Boat. I've got bigger problems for you to handle than that. But, DM, uh, how, how much ice is there, DM, between the 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 bow of the boat and liquid water? So, uh, kind of looking out from the bow of the boat across the lake, like you can't tell where the water is starts because okay. of the way that the snow is whipping across it. But you you. It's about, uh, uh, I would say about maybe two miles. Okay, two, more, yeah. more than we have in spells and manpower to actually break up. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know. It's, it's, it's going to be a bit of a resource drain. <laughs> Who needs spells? And, I'll just tie, and you might want to save them resources. So. We'll just bring uh, Athelflaed the goat out and let, let her uh, chew go. it all out. There you go. Um, so, that's hilarious. If so, I... Uh, are we walking or? Well, you can certainly try to travel across the ice, but uh, if you take the boat, drag it behind you on the sled, or or or. Do you have an ice like a like an like icebreaker ship that we could use? An no. icebreaker ship for a lake. Uh, on retainer. Have you, a, have you got a fisherman's <laughs> boat? How, how else are they getting out there? If we had an icebreaker ship. We would have broken the ice. I don't know these things. I'm a land person, all right? No, it's I all just... right. It's all right. You, you... 
You have the look of sun about you, and that's good. That's good. All right. Um, <laughs> Are we ready to head out now? We travel. So uh, you can certainly take one of the boats here. So I, as you go ahead and look around the uh, the lower decks of the ship itself, there are several boats just hanging out. Nice, nice little dinghies. <laughs> how many? Ding a ding a ding. Yeah. How many? How many boats would it, would it take to seat all six of us? You can fit four people into a rowboat, but that is a packed rowboat. Yeah. I would recommend maybe three and three. Three and three works well. At the party. Uh, board. <laughs> well, do we want three and three, or do we want two, two, and two in case we find a fisherman that needs a ride back? That's that's fair. That's or, fair. I suppose we should have room for the fishermen. Probably. <laughs> Hopefully we find them. At least one. What's that going to be like for us dragging three boats behind us, DM? Well, so, uh, let's see, given the strength of the party, uh, if so if two of you are dragging one boat, you should be able to, like, make that time. Uh, with, with two of you, you should be able to make decent time out to the water. Plus, for the sake of the stream, we're not going to be uh, dragging that out too much. Right. So bad. <laughs> so... Will you're you, monster. uh... You're a monster, Ryan. <laughs> uh, I, well, yeah, I mean, I look at the group. I'm uh, the cold, uh, hard witch. So <laughs> 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 I I have no love for the water, but I also have no love for fishermen drowning, so... I, I don't ask. I, I ask that you find the fishermen, bring them back if you can, or at the very least discover what is taking our people. And this is an official job. Oh, official job. Look, I uh, officially the speak. Well, we we need to elect a new speaker. We're currently in a state of flux, but I would be willing to offer you some of the uh, magical items that we confiscated off that wizard that we had to burn. Oh. In payment for a. For your service. Oh, well, my now my interest is piqued. Are they yours to offer? They are. Possessions nine tenths of the law. I uh, say so they are in my <laughs> possessions, and this is the Dales. Also, you're in East Haven. Oh yeah, pickpocket central. Yep. <laughs> well, let's go. That's good enough for me. <laughs> yeah. What right. time is it? Ah, excellent question. So, uh. As you had finished up the festival, pursued the Jurgar, so the festival had finished up at about uh, 2 p.m. You said I think. Yeah, yeah, like 2 p.m. is when the, the festival had finished up, and so you are sort of now into the evening. Uh, you're looking at like 6 or 7 p.m. So that being said, it is going to get <laughs> surprising as you as if you couldn't believe it. It's going to get colder. Ooh. So uh, I, I recommend that you not necessarily head out right this instant, but... Uh, That's what I was going to suggest. Take the night, rest, and then in the morning, head out onto the ice. Very good. Well, yeah, then we'll leave the boats here then and not drag them to the inn with us. Excellent, yes. excellent. Uh, nearest abode would be, I believe, uh, the White Lady, uh, or you can... Uh, uh, schlep it on up to the Wet Trout, but that's, uh, that's towards the north and a little farther away from this the white lady. The is. white lady, you say. Uh, mm -hmm. Where are the white lady at? <laughs> uh, the white lady is. <laughs> well, well played. It's white well played. swan. I love you so much. <laughs> <laughs> so, my friends, let's go ahead and jumping to the. It's like right next door. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You are. You are correct. So I'm going to jump you to the East Haven map. And as we shift there, you'll see, so as you have the East Haven Ferry right here, and then as you look at the East Haven Ferry, the White Lady Inn is literally, like, you can see it from the boat. So Imdra points it out and says, uh, that is the White Lady Inn. That was the more calm inn, right? Yes. yes. Like Indeed. The laid Indeed. back inn. The more yep. subdued of the two. Civilized. Yes. It's the so, one that doesn't smell like wet trout. Yes. I mean, I, mean yeah. I think everywhere smells like wet trout. 
<laughs> yeah, but the other tavern makes a point of like making it a selling point. They're proud yeah. of that trout yeah. smell. Yeah, right. Embrace it. You know. Old trout smell. Indeed. That's what we're all the trout. It's not imported. It's oh, wow. local, locally oh, sourced wow. white trout. That one, <laughs> that one hurt even me. All right. <laughs> All right, friends. So, uh, adventurers, do you make your way yes. from the ferry? We well, do. do we need any supplies or anything? I don't know that anyone used anything up. I want another uh, roll of rope. Uh, Did Indra I can get. go on ahead? Uh, it, no, Indra is, is currently, she's there on the boat with you. Okay. And so she's sort of waiting to see. So you'll so you'll take the job starting in the morning? Yes. Uh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. We, Actually, we need we need to yes. replace uh, Flynn's rope that we bound the Duragar with. Oh, of course, of course. Well, I imagine you. I mean, you're on the ferry. Uh, I won't say boo if. Like Flynn is just gonna like reach over and grab whatever like spool of rope is by it and just gonna do this. That looks like it'll do. <laughs> right. In here, well. So, you uh, get on your way in the morning. Meet me back at the town hall when you're finished, and I'll see what I can do about uh, getting you. Paid, all right? Very good. Absolutely. Understood. Thank you again. And I'll uh, be sure to be sure to stop by uh, before you head back out of town, uh, at least once you're finished with this little task, and see if our uh, friend has any more information for us. All right. Excellent. And so Imdra, uh, she's going to turn, head back down the dock, and head toward the town hall. Right towards the end. And I know we want to get... Yeah, well, I was going to say, let's let her kind of go ahead. We'll drag our feet a little. And <laughs> I just, I want to put some distance between us and her just so <laughs> Feriel can tell us what she knows. And then after that, I guess we can head to the end. Yep. So I just want to, like, do a quick look around, just to make sure all the guards are gone. Oh, yeah. No, the guards have been gone for quite some okay. time. Remember, Imdra And, and Imdra is, like, well ahead. Mm hmm. And I still have Tempest just kind of in a holding pattern above us mm -hmm. in case anything comes up. So these four, I think they're the least of our problems. They were hired to kill the speaker. I, did you find out by who? No. Um, I think it might be worth doing a little more thorough interrogation. Didn't really have time to get much, but I do know that that one that we did kill, he's just the son of the one who seems to be the mastermind behind all of this. The one who um, hired those? He was Possibly oh. hired them or is steering it. Um, Saradoc is his name. Saradoc. And, um, I wanted to ask you, DM, if that rings any bells for me at all, the name. So, uh, Sardarok, the name Sardarok. does Can not you spell ring. that, please? Uh, so yes, that is X-A-R-D-O-R-R-O-K. Oh Nothing like I spelled it when I yeah, wrote right, it Yeah, right, right, right. Yeah. Fun fact, everybody. For this game, they provide you a pronunciation guide. <laughs> so. Yeah, they did that for Avernus also. It was fantastic. <laughs> so... Zardarok. Zardarok, all right. Mm -hmm. That Durga, he seemed pretty confident that this Zardarok is going to destroy Ten Towns. And he said that we've killed his son. So I assume that that was his son. That could cause a bit of pro problems for us, possibly. At least we know beforehand. I mean, did he say how he su suspects them to destroy no I mean, destroying the ten towns would take a just a massive amount of power i would think unless he doesn't mean physically destroy could oh. mean wreak so much havoc that, that everyone just leaves implodes or something yeah. i don't know or even what? the slow the slow death of the never-ending winter winter true they, was there, did they give any reason as why the speaker was was chosen to be killed or no 
Only that they were hired to kill him and that they were betrayed. Hmm. Betrayed? They were betrayed? Yes. Durgar. By whom? That sounds Don't about know. right. Well, that makes sense why this murder was different than the other ones. Yeah. Mm. I think also, it was definitely a copycat meant to hide under the other murder so it would blend in and not be seen as something different. But it's definitely something different. Does the lead that is news, then. Jurgar here have like some sort of like identifying piece showing him that he's some station higher than the than the other ones? Uh, other than the fact that he is wearing uh, sort of uh, this this like deep robe of a of a, of a like a sort of royal purple, um, he, he's a little he's much better dressed than. Is, the, there an, for, is there like a symbol or something on the robe? Uh, none that you can see, or none mm. that make any sense to you. Well, that is okay. dagger. I'll uh, study the dagger. Wait, is the that was my thought as well? Could the dagger be a, a symbol of office? At all, or uh, hmm, do I know anything about that? This is the society check that I rolled earlier. Go, go ahead and make a, an investigation check. Oh dear, <laughs> <laughs> I'll help on that if you want. I think I might need help. Are you, uh, <laughs> pro are you proficient? Are you, you uh, think in what? it in might be a dagger? <laughs> I am <laughs> no, I'm not proficient. Oh, do you okay. want me to help? <laughs> I, I, so I, brought, I brought it up. It's, it's also, just a dagger. So. I mean, uh, you could check it if you like. Yeah, let me give it a closer look. While the the professor is doing that, I'm Sweet gonna. Sweet God! I got a twenty-three. Yeah, well, I, I'll wait for the description before I say what I was gonna say. <laughs> so, with that twenty-three, the dagger itself. Uh, so the sort of the the way the flame blade shape uh, the flame shape to the blade yeah. uh, seems a little more ceremonial um, as if it was more of a and you being you, you would know that this might uh, allow for the channeling of specific energies um, and the handle itself while a smooth stone you, you, at first you would have brushed it off as obsidian but it, it doesn't seem to be obsidian Okay, but it is... I can't actually determine the material. No, it is not a material that you have come across before. Okay. That's unfortunate. What about me? Did I notice the material? Well, the professor could point it out to you. Yeah, I would immediately go to Herrick and say, have you ever seen any kind of stone like this before? And, uh... N n no, Herrick, you, you haven't. This is not a, a, a typical mineral found. Hmm. Hmm. No. Hmm. So I, I have a really unfortunate thought, and I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna look around again just to kind of make sure that it's just us, and I'm gonna lean in and say, it almost got us in trouble earlier, when, when the professor intimated that maybe prudence would have had to be questioned further but if she was the only one in the room with them how else are you betrayed they they did their job they murdered the speaker what's the betrayal and that was my thought as well is as, she, the, as she, the sole witness she, i, she in I on don't it to think become the new speaker she... That's why I didn't want to have this conversation in front of Imdra. Flynn? I was hoping we could try to get Imdra to keep an eye on her and to, like, for her own safety, as, because maybe as a witness they would come back for her, but I'm thinking that... That's a bad idea. That, well, I'm, I'm thinking that might be too late. That, that was my intention when I was asking for, for Prudence to come with us, but... Oh, I thought you were going to take her downtown for questioning. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> well, no, I was I was suspicious of her, but I was going to try to play it up like we need to protect her. But she, gotcha. as soon as soon as I brought it up, she, I, she like bit my head off. So thanks, DM. She seemed very sincere to me. <laughs> I, remember getting, I remember getting a high insight check on her. So uh, Prudence seemed seemed sincere. 
Yeah. Hmm. And her father, even Adol even Hunter. so, even if she was sincere as the only witness, I think she may have more to say than she realizes. Well, this is not going to solve itself tonight. This no. this will run into at least two more complications before we figure it out. So, for we need uh, to. the white lady. I I I know we should care, but I mean, it's not really our job. It will be when they pay us. Well, you're right about that. I guess my only thought is if we have killed the son of someone important, having all the information to know who might be coming after us would be helpful. But I mean, you're you're kind of right. It's Ten Towns is a rough, it's a rough place. Let's go get right. now. So, party, you make your way to the White Lady Inn. Uh, as we get there, I will call uh, Tempest down and pop her back into her pocket dimension. Lovely. I don't need to have her flying around outside all night, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> she, she, doesn't, she doesn't want that either. I'm so tired. <laughs> <laughs> so, you head to the White Lady Inn. It's a musty old inn that is named after the local legend known as the White Lady. There's a ghost that is rumored to walk onto Lake Dinashare, haunting the spot where her rich husband drowned. Uh, Ronaldo is the uh, uh, the halfling proprietor of this uh, establishment. He, he feels himself to be a, a self-styled bard. Zolvana, try not to roll your eyes too much. Um, <laughs> but he, he tries really, really hard at that. Uh, he and his good friend uh, Barbaton, uh, who is an elderly man, human, uh, they are the two uh, people who run the inn uh, now because of its legendary notoriety, no notoriety, according to Ronaldo, uh, he tries to hold nightly seances in the back room, much to the delight and snickering of some of the town folk and the rolling of eyes of others. So far, uh, he claims to have been able to contact the spirits, but nothing of circumstance has really come from these seances, and Barberton just continues to go about the, the, his, his duties of running the inn. So, as you enter in, uh, Rinaldo greets you. Ah, oh, welcome, friends, welcome to the White Lady Inn. I am Rinaldo, uh, uh, proprietor here. Uh, will you be staying for the night? Yes. Excellent, excellent. Uh, and uh, meals? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Definitely. Is it is it just the pies, or is it something you have something different here? Um. Oh, I, please I, let it be something different. Tell me different, please. Well, uh, I mean, we we do have a lot of pies left over from the. You know, I I I, I'll, I can talk to Barberton. I'm I'm sure he wouldn't mind uh, Barberton and Barberton. And he kind of storms off towards the back, and they're like, ah, I'm sure we'll be able to whip something up for you. Uh, now that'll be and, uh, and it sure sounds like he's not going to spit in it. No, he's gonna I was going to say if he spits in my food, <laughs> he's definitely going to spit. Oh, of course not. No, no, no. Uh, he, here at the White Lady Inn, we, we pride ourselves on a, a quiet evening in. Oh, huh? Quiet very, evening. Very, yeah, yeah, very got, good. Gotcha. <laughs> All right. So uh, that'll be two silver apiece for the rooms and the food. Uh, All right. Yeah, here, here you go. Oh, I, yeah. I'm sorry. I thought he was still yeah. tallying. Yep. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. I, I mean, I, uh, I, I will pay as well. Excellent. Some owl as well, please. The, I'm sorry, an owl? Some owl. You know, oh, beer. Oh, ale. 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 Yeah, All right. you know. All right. There, you are. there, you there we are. There we are. Right. Well, certainly should be able to uh, drum some of that up for you. Uh, so, uh, what brings you into town? Uh, clearly, uh, here for the festival? Oh, yes. Of course. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. The oh, excellent. Excellent. Good Lovely. Day. We're the winners. You know, if if you don't mind me saying, friends, you have the you have the look of a, of a group of adventurers. But uh, <laughs> that's that's uh, crazy because most of the uh, 
the, the unsavory types uh, head up to the wet trout, uh, where it, here at the White Lady, we uh, we tend to have a little more uh, respectable clientele walking through the door, huh? huh? Now, why would adventurers automatically be linked to unsavory? Are you suggesting we don't belong? Oh, he just like flushes white. Uh, no, no, of course Good. not. No, all, Good. all Good. are welcome here. I just, uh, we don't usually get bold types here. Because oh, I can tell you, we have only burned down three ends, and they were all accidental. Oh, he's joking. Oh, oh it's so <laughs> awkward seeing you squirm. Oh, yeah, get me some owl. I'll, I'll go sit down at a table. Oh, thank you. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll give you your, your, your beverage. Um, we have uh, uh, milk? With the, no, ale. You said ale. Uh, let's see here. Uh, uh, milk? Ooh, I, I've, uh, I've got one. Uh, it's a, a little bit darker of a stout. Will that serve? That would be lovely, yes. Excellent, excellent. Yes. I know it's not technically an ale, but it is. Oh, uh, anyway. It All right. Uh, he, like, dodges to the back and... Oh, 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 Barberton says he he could make some uh, s- some chicken with a like a like a like a pot pie. Is a chicken pie that okay? Sounds fantastic. Yeah, sure. yeah, Excellent. yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. Yeah, right. right. yeah, no fish. fish. So oh, it's just not the great. fish. The fish out. Okay. It's, it's tuna, chicken of the sea. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and so you hear like you know pandemonium, a little bit of blustering from the kitchen, but... Uh, pandemonium. Pandemonium. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Really, player. <laughs> There's is, is, is a reason why I wanted this group for this game. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, he, uh, he he brings out the dishes, and uh, the pies look more appetizing than they have any right to be, especially uh, here in Icewind Dale, where everything's a little bit rough and a little bit lean. So uh, pies are pretty good, and uh, and uh, Ronaldo's sort of like sitting or he's standing at the edge of the table and sort of watching, sets it down, brings you your drinks. Uh, DM, quick question. You said Ronaldo. What is he exactly? Oh, he's a halfling. halfling. He's a halfling. And then mm-hmm. what about Barberton? Oh, Barberton is a human. Okay, sorry, I just didn't get that earlier. No, it's fine. It's fine. All right, so uh, Ronaldo is standing there, and he's like, "Here's the table, Ronaldo." Well, it smells good. Well, thank you. I'll let Barberton know. He'll be very pleased. I'll take a bite. So, Ronaldo, hmm? we we hear that a number of fishermen have have just gone missing. Do you mm-hmm. do you have stories or or any kind of I mean, i'm sure people tell you things they don't tell other people uh, do you any, know any of them do you know well, any of them or maybe have heard which way they were headed that they I mean, disappeared or not personally and i myself well i i, I don't you, know, you talk to a lot of the fishers they, they don't stay here at the inn much having abodes of their own but i could ask the white lady the, the ghost tavern the- itself no, 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 no. The, the white lady. There's a legend. She's the ghost that walks the frozen lake of Loch in a shire. I, I, I hold a I hold seances with her in, in a back room if you, any of you would be interested. The hell you say? Well, I would be interested. <gasps> Excellent. Anyone else? Why not? I love a good comedy show. Oh. Join as well. Oh well, it's 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 oh, right. it's, it's not a comedy show, and, and and I assure you, you you must take it deathly seriously. Oh, uh, no. Otherwise, otherwise, misfortune has been known to happen. And who is she then? The Lady of the Lake. No, 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 no Miss Miss Fortune. Which is she? Your accountant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well played, well played, my elfish friend. You, you have quite the wit about you. Uh, um, but uh, so uh, I'm so sorry. Uh, the séance it will be this evening, uh, uh, shortly before uh, midnight. Uh, if you wish to join me, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll be down here in in the main room, and we can go back uh, to the séance room. Is the white this lady is... the only one you contact? During these seances, or can you speak to other dead? Ooh, she is the only one that I've been able to talk to. 
I think because of the inn and and the closeness of of the lake itself, I I believe we have a very strong connection between us and the lady. Is Ryan uh, DM is Barberton in the room with us hearing this? Mm-hmm. I I'd like to just just kind of side eye you, kind of look. You look over, over and Barberton's like. It's a storeroom. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm sorry, the... What's the storeroom? His okay. seance room. It's a storeroom. <sighs> it's a it closet. It is not a storeroom. It, it's a... <clears throat> it is a seance room for contacting the Lady of the Lake. Ronaldo, how often do you hold these seances? Oh, well, I... Why well, I try to hold them? Well, every uh, uh, nightly, mostly. Uh, but uh, s- sometimes I-, I take a night off or so. And how you often have you contacted her? Oh, f- a few times, at least. Can you tell us a little more about the lady? Oh, oh, she is white. Indescribable. Xander, you can't just ask if somebody's white. <laughs> it's it's her it's her mea, name. Mea, mea culpa. <laughs> so she, well, I, I haven't actually seen her. Um, mm-hmm. What what she appears as is a sort of a in corporeal force and then uh she she communicates through the windows through the, through the windows. windows yeah the windows the windows so the she'll 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 write or, or sc- scribble images onto the window panes of the store of the seance room of the seance room Parberton. uh so uh that uh, that way she communicates with us and, and lets us know the, the the questions that we wish to have answered or the answers to the questions that we wish to ask. That's it. Okay. But the lady, yes. was she once living? Oh, You well, said that she travels around the lake? Oh, yes, yes. So rumor has it she'll, she'll, she'll travel across the lake, haunting the spot where her poor husband drowned. Now, uh, rumor has it that he was either coming to her and, and was then pushed off the boat by pirates and, and pulled down with the weight of his gold and drowned, or that he was fleeing from her and had taken her dowry with him and the boat itself collapsed and capsized and, and he himself was pulled down to the bottom with the gold. I would think if he were, it, I would think that if he were fleeing from her after having stolen, she wouldn't be lamenting his, his demise. Mm-hmm. I would lament that gold. No, but and she, how did she, she die? She was scorned. She may oh. be upset. Well, true, true. A couple of different. Well, uh, there's no one really knows for sure. Actually, some say she died of a broken heart when her love went to the ground. Some say she she was turned into a furious rage and, and transformed into a banshee and now haunts the lakes, screaming out her fury. Some say if you listen yes. to the wind at night, you can hear her wail. <laughs> this is really good pie. It's lovely. Oh, good! I'm so glad you liked it. All right, all right. Well then, um, shall we uh, have a séance this evening then? Absolutely. But, so you say you yes. say that you don't you don't always contact her. Um, well, well, I, it well, is well, all in the strength of the believers. So well, what, I, what I was going to say is, I I bet that if you were to to sing us a little song, because you're a bard, right? If you were to uh, sing us something, that would really get us into the believing spirit. Oh, oh, well, I'm, I'm not really much of a, of a singer. I actually uh, recite poetry. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. I have a, a couple you of have a, a poem about the white lady. Oh, indeed. Indeed. Uh, if I may. I... Stop, being ca- stop being carriage. He runs, <laughs> runs to the counter, pulls out a, a little notebook and brings it up. For, uh, it's good for a this, laugh at least. Not drunk enough for a seance. I'm, this, I'm, is, I'm, this is more excitement than he has seen in a right. long time. No mm. one comes here. I just want to eat my pie. <clears throat> yeah, go ahead. Oh, sweet lady of the lake, for whom did you forsake Pulled down among the waves, 
your husband is now the water's slave. Gold, too heavy a burden for him to bear. No ring upon your ghostly finger do you wear. Oh, lady of the lake, for whom do you forsake? Second verse. Oh, oh, oh my God! No, that was enough. <laughs> thank you. Was, thank no, no. We got to finish this meal. Was, was, yeah, yeah. We need to. Yeah. We need, we need oh. to rest a little and and prepare ourselves for this this great thing you're going to show us. Um, oh, her of husband, course. Her husband's name wasn't Joe, was it? No. Did he have a bandage? Did he have a bandage on his face? Did you, I don't believe so. Okay, just checking. Oh, oh, that's right. Checking. Um, I love checking. So, I will see you down here just before midnight. Hmm? Spooky. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much. He shuffles away back behind the counter. All right, friends. Uh, anything you wish to do between here and midnight? Well, so is this going to totally bung up our long rest? Because there's at least one of us, our draug who is in need of, I think, I mean, I'm rest. basically standing here, like, bleeding <laughs> constantly, but I'm so wrapped up that you if, can't see it. If you take part in the seance, you will not gain the benefits of a long rest. Can you I, will gain the benefits of a short rest. Can I notice that you're hurt? If, obviously, if you're under all that stuff, but... I mean, I'm, like, real, real hurt, so I think probably... Uh, I've got a... Uh, would you like me to have a look at your wounds, dear? Uh, yeah, if you don't mind, that would be great. Oh, he pulls out his healer's kit. Uh, where are you hurt? Let's have a look. Um, well, most of the damage I took was psychic, so I'm hurt in my brain, I guess. Oh. I need my brain hit points restored. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. You got anything for brain injuries? I'll look for my pack. Yeah. Uh, I've got a healing potion. Would you like that? I got hit in my head movies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, are, you, are you sure you can spare it? Well, I've got two. How bad are we? Oh, well, Are you really, you. really yes. bad? I mean, yeah. On a scale of one to twenty, I'm at about a four. Oh dear! Ooh. I'll hand over a potion of greater healing. Oh, well done. That I got from Thingy. Um, da -da -da -da. Remind me there how you many that is. Uh, you can click on it in chat. Four. You can click on it oh, in chat. Sweet. There you yeah. go. Cool. Boom. Eleven. Nice. Shit. Very nice. It's better than, than four. Yeah. And yeah. I will yeah. remove that from my pack. There it is. Thank you, sir. Is that, is that better? So, I've got another one, but it's not as strong. Oh no, that's much, much better. Well, Thank you. Flynn, are you okay? Because you took a hit as well, yeah? Oh no, I'm I'm good. A little little bit of okay. that, that breather took got me standing again. I used gotcha. to be a healer, you know, a long time ago. How old so, are you, Eric? Well, I'm not that old. Probably about 32 in human years. That's a guess. So the, about 125, you, I think I am now. You have, you have a healer's kit. That's a, that's a skill that not a lot of folks have. So maybe, maybe you're still a healer and just have forgotten. Yes. Yes. So, um, question to the DM. So, with um, that healing, it does that make Fariel just have to take the short rest and be like all, you know, better? Or so the difference between the short rest and the long rest is that for a long rest, you will recover all of your HP uh, automatically, and you'll also recover all of your spell slots and then any abilities that you would then recover on the long rest. For a short rest, you have the uh, 
the chance to recover hit points, but you must roll hit dice. So for every level that you have, you have a hit dice that is available to your character, and it's going to depend upon what your class is. It could be a d6, a d8, and then on a short rest, you can roll the number of hit dice. So for instance, you are now level two, so each of you should have two hit dice that you can roll. Rolling those dice, adding then your constitution modifier, that allows you to recover that much HP on a short rest. But you have a limited amount of hit dice that you can roll. And on a long rest, you recover, I believe, only half of the hit dice that you have lost so far. Oh, yeah. yep. okay. All right, so, I didn't know well, so yes, you can recover health on a short rest, but there's a, there's, there's, there's a cost to pushing yourself. Yep. Got it. And it kind of depends on your class, because like, since I'm a rogue and I don't have spell slots to recover, it's not as big of a deal for me to not get that long rest, because I don't yeah. need those spell slots. Versus like, if one of the spellcasters did, they might really yeah. need to sleep. Yeah, if you're uh, either super shanked and you need to rest up, or you are like totally blown out on your spell slots, that's mm -hmm. a, a long rest necessity. Necessary. Necessary. So, friends, who will be joining in the seance this evening? Me. Yeah, going, I gotta yeah. see this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Why not? I, why not? Yeah, I think that, that might be all of us then. So, is that everybody? Yeah. I think dig so. It. Dig it, dig it, dig it. I love All right. It. So, uh, anything further you wish to uh, discuss before we get to the midnight hour? Um, are we staying down in the common room until then? Are we going up to our rooms and then coming back down? Oh, so you've got so uh, as as I stated before, it's about six, seven. So you're now coming up by like eight o'clock in the evening. So you've got a little, little chunk of time. You can definitely get a short rest in. Um, right. Oh yeah, you could do a short rest easy oh. in that time. Yeah, yeah. absolutely, you could. Let, so, let's yeah. let's do that, and then if we if we have anything to discuss, that puts us in a more private area that's not out in the open. I mean, there's there are no other patrons in here, correct, DM? No, no. Uh, per his uh, belief that they cater to only high end clientele, it also means fewer clientele. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can count on zero hands the number of high end clientele we've seen in Ten Towns so far. Yes. Um, yeah, so I, I think we'll head up to our rooms, and then if we have something to discuss, we can do that there. Mm, naps. Yeah. Nap sounds good. <laughs> um, do we have anything to talk about? Yeah, I was like, do you have anything to discuss? Uh, I don't know that we do. I think we did most of it on the way over. Yeah. If there is a moment where Flynn is available or in his room... The professor would try to uh, to get a, a moment with Flynn, but oh. if that doesn't happen, then that's all right. So. Excellent. Let's play Secret Secret. Yeah. Secret right. Secret. <laughs> secret Secret. I got a secret. The first one is actually going to go to Herrick. Ooh. So, everybody. Ooh. And then I'll give you the double thumbs up for when we're good to come back. All right. So, Herrick. As you hand over the potion of greater healing, you hear whispered in the back of your ear as if just coming over your earlobe the sound of your wife's voice. And it says that was kind. And then it's gone. That was what shit. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to put them back on, just take them back off again. Yeah, right. So these are going to be relatively short and quick little secret secret sessions, my friends, this time around. So, uh, so uh, just keep your eyes on me. All right. Lovely. <laughs> uh, speaking of which, secret secrets. This time, the professor. He's not here. He's He's gone. I'll fill in for the professor. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> there he is. All right. Oh, All there right. he is. Oh, there he is. Okay. Oh, there he is. <laughs> You almost missed your secret. We yeah, almost you. missed your secret. Oh, almost. <laughs> All right. 
In your book, you see scribbled on one of the pages, Seek Ethrin. Uh, spell that for me real quick. Absolutely, I will. So, uh, that is going to be spelled. Or just like private in Zoom chat. Oh, yep, I can do that too. That is it's a little bit easier for you. It's a little bit easier to see. Yeah, all right, right, right. So, I will type that along, and then do you respond uh, anything back? Um, nothing at the moment. There's nothing, nothing really to report. We haven't found really anything of interest other than... I don't feel like I have enough complete information to actually tell it anything. Mm. All right. So, All right. So, bold of you, but I like it. All right, excellent. Did that come through on chat? Oh, no, I, I, I'm getting it to you. All right, all right, all right. There you go. Holy crap. <laughs> yeah, right? Pronunciation guides. All right. And then, if you'd like, Professor, you can go ahead and have that moment with Flynn. Yeah, so... And I don't think is we it, need to... Is this another secret secret? No, it uh, is not. No, that's fine. We can... Um, so, yeah. Uh, Reginald will just go... Uh, just give a tap on Flynn's door. Hello, hello, yeah? Yeah? Flynn, I... Couldn't help but notice your reaction when I mentioned the child of midnight. I think we have a uh, a discussion to be had. Uh, yeah, I don't know a lot, but I can tell you what I what I do know. Well, I've been told to to seek the child. Do you have any information that could be of use? Um, do you, the the midnight child you're you're seeking. Yes. Well, then I can't help you there. Um, I can only tell you that since I've gotten up here to to the, to the Dale, I've been hearing things. Um, at which I've I've been told about a, a mountain child, a mid a midwinter child, and a midnight child. I okay. And I, I, all I, so far, I only have an idea of who the midwinter child is, but I don't know what any of this means. The tell me about the midwinter child then. Well, uh, he's about yay high. He cooks for us sometimes. He's got a goat. <laughs> you can't mean Herrick. I do mean Herrick. Voice, I, how do you I, how do you know it's Herrick? What makes in, you what makes you think? Because I looked at Herrick and the voice in my head said Midwinter Child. Midwinter Child. And the mount there was a mountain child. I have also been told of the mountain child, but that was not as it did not seem as pertinent pertinent as the midnight child. Well, the fact that there's three of them and the and like each child has an M title with it is is what caught my attention. So, I'm curious. This voice, it's not familiar to you at all. No, no. Uh, I'm not one to usually hear voices, as I'm not. I just gesture to like my weapons. I'm not one with the with, with the arcane. So this is very new territory for me. What does it sound like? Does it, is it uh, an ominous voice, a deep voice, a male voice, a female voice? Uh, I mean, I voice. It sounds it sounds like a oh, let's say like a guy in his uh you know mid thirties, long, long hair, glasses. Um, if I were to put a Put a face to the voice like that, you know. Like... You'd probably want to slap it. Interesting. <laughs> I can. I'll let you know when I hear more things. Um, that's the best I can. I can do. Um, 
I, I don't know why a, a voice is speaking to me now, but as long as it hasn't tried to pull my brain out, it's cool by me. No. I feel like you should be more concerned than you are, Flynn. This is... Nothing, nothing to be handled lightly. Ah, uh, look, I have, I haven't, <laughs> tried to, <laughs> I haven't tried to stab anybody I didn't want to yet. So it's, it's we're, we're so far so good. Right. Well, I'd hate to see two people in this group losing their grip on reality. So you gotta have a grip on reality first to lose your grip on reality. Uh, fair enough. I understand your point. <laughs> Listen, I think it might... I think the two of us can help one another. And I think we can start by... giving us uh, clues to each other about what is there and what is not there. Um, So, just... Give me a give me a nod, give me a wink, those type of things, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. Yeah, I think yeah. If the, I think if the two of two of us can uh, can help remain grounded, we might uh, fare better. I mean, as long as you're not looking to hurt whatever these kids are, if they're some sort of, I mean, I, I mean, they might not be kids because Herrick's a grown ass man so no i've only been told to seek them so yeah no i hope you find them uh it's a shot in the dark does the main the name ethrin mean anything to you mm, not to me no well then we'll leave it there until i know more sorry to disturb you and i will uh leave you to your rest i'll see uh, you downstairs yep for the seance for going the to. seance. <laughs> All right, party members. Anything further to discuss before we move to the seance? Um, Arik will sort of spend time thinking to himself. Um, maybe look out the window now and again. Grip his holy s- symbol and just shake his head and then walk back out the room. As you touch your holy symbol it seems a little warmer all right friends so we head down to the common room mm-hmm. excellent i, I think yeah. so and i said ronaldo is there and I, mean, like, I was it's... trying to go over my spell book and two guys were talking next door for like an hour but that's fine, <laughs> <laughs> that's fine. ronaldo i might need a couple of stiff drinks for this oh no no it, it better to have a clear head and a pure heart stiff drinks can... give me clear head oh i don't have a clear heart can i just have the drink what no uh, which, what about what, just a cup of tea uh, oh, oh tea? i love tea tea should be fine okay so Two teas? Do you put whiskey in your tea? I do not. No. Uh, how, about, how about teas all around, and and we'll we'll help get the we'll get you set up. Excellent, excellent. Yes. Okay. Great, great. Uh, so come with me, and uh, he sort of uh, ushers everybody towards the seance room. And as as you sort of walk up, you notice that he has sort of a a little. There's a symbol of runes, sort of like chalked onto the door. Uh, and as you uh, walk in there, uh, he has set up the room to sort of have this very, very tiny storeroom. Oh, no, there's a battle map. This isn't going to go well, is it? <laughs> <laughs> yes. So so it is a storeroom then. Oh, absolutely. It is. What are you a talking seance about? room. It's just a simple little mm-hmm. seance. Yeah, I mean, seance room. Definitely a seance I room. I mean, are we sitting on like crates of beer? Uh, <laughs> and apples. And, like, no, like, like most of the food stuff's kind of been shoved to the side a little bit, but y- you notice that it is rather cramped in here. So, um, Brian, is there any way that we can remove all the bars? Because I don't think we're using them. So, All the bars? Yeah, I mean, because they take on up top a of lot. Our yeah. Or just have the red oh! one. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Oh, that's a good question. Um, it's just I don't think we're using it anyway, so. And it, I think it, I it think takes up a lot in the settings when you're logged out of the game, Ryan. Um, if you if you oh, you 
So yeah, if you hit yes. the, that gear icon and you take out the numbers in your bars, if it's blank, it shouldn't show up. You well, yeah. you also should be able to if you go to so you click on it says token settings. You can go yeah. ahead and uh, uh, the little dot 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 all the way to the side of the bars. You can go ahead and say player permission C edit. And so currently I have it. Everyone's on C and edit. And then you just on the text overlay, you can go ahead and switch that to hidden. And then, like, I'm going to go ahead and do that to Herrix right now. Yeah, and then I think gets, those uh, are DM-only settings. Yeah, I, I don't think have any that's settings like that. Oh, uh, because I'm fancy. Okay. Yeah. All right. All right, then. Well, then, go to, go to. All right. So. Change uh, to zero, zero, zero doesn't work either. Yeah, right, 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 right. All uh, right. It shows, shows the, it shows the empty bar. So, as we've got. As we've got everyone sort of jam packed in here, and it looks just like an absolute like ticker tape parade of green, blue, and red. Uh, if you just, I'm sorry, Ryan. If you just delete all of the input from those bars, don't put oh, zero. Just, just delete it all. Let's it drop it down. Yeah. Oh look. Yeah, if you leave it blank, there'll be no bar. Yeah. Oh, God, you guys are smart. Sorry to interrupt. Continue, Ryan. No worries. No worries. So as you walk into the room, there are several candles laid out in a circle, and this, the same rune casting circle has been drawn onto the floor. And Ronaldo has all of his lights off, and he's got several candles going around him. He's, oh, all right. So, friends, the smoke from the incense burns and clouds the room, and there's sort of some, as you look up, like silks and, and lamps, uh, casting flickering shadows on all the walls. And he pushes back the sleeve of his robes and raises his hands and says, Oh, lady who watches from the lake, come to us in our darkest hour. Tell us what you've seen. Can I take a look at his little setup here and d determine if it is in any way legitimate at all? Or so in the if, same or if way, this is a total sham. So like, is there a religion make, or an arcana check for this? Yeah, give me an arcana check. All right. <laughs> Twenty-four. <laughs> nice. So in the same way that like a Ouija board is legitimate, like. Yeah. yeah, there's a chance you could contact something. Okay. Also, a bigger chance that you could be possessed. Or, you know, not necessarily going to open a hell mouth, but... Yeah. yeah. All right. So, as he sits and intones again, <clears throat> Lady who watches from the lake, come to us in our darkest hour. Tell us what you've seen all right now players how many of you are willing to aid in this seance oh i'll aid the seance i am yeah i'll I mean, do it here, yeah we might as well help. so anybody who is willing to aid in the seance go ahead and make me a charisma a persuasion check so i'll need a persuasion roll from you we're gonna make this a group check so that's okay. that's good. The no <laughs> so the numbers will tell. All right. So group check, persuasion. Let's see how this goes. Oh, oh ho, ho. damn, Fariel. So Fariel with a twenty-three, Xander with a five, and Fariel's was a crit. So. And Fariel was a crit. You are correct. Uh, Professor with a twelve. Twelve. Bing. Zilvana. With a 20, boom. Tiberius with a 21, boom. And Herrick with a 16, pow. That is five to one. Yeah. Persuasion is a success. That was a so, sweet at, average. At, yeah, well, well done, everybody. So as you as you sit there and all take a moment and just either like slow your breathing down or, or, or genuinely ask the question or just sort of like wish Herrick or wish Ronaldo all the best of luck, you suddenly see on the window to the, at the back of the storeroom, seance room, it frosts over. The ice just sort of encapsulates so that the entirety of the outside world is cut off. She's here. 
Oh, 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 she's here. Okay, okay, um, okay, we, we can ask, we can ask three questions, my friends. What are three things that you would wish to know? Now, keep in mind, the spirit can only answer us using the panes of glass. And our communication is halting and few. Should anyone have anyone have a question? Should 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 we can we discuss it as a group? Oh, absolutely. Should but, we uh, should we ask her if she knows or should, should we ask her what has been taking the fisherman? fisherman? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Someone with a better charisma than me should ask her. <laughs> I'm gonna look to Flynn, give him a, a, a knowing nod, and at the same time I am holding on to my, my amulet, my shard. Just feeling the, the details in it. Um, quickly, friends! Quickly, Zelvana. People my, like you. You should ask. I know. I was like, my my charisma's pretty high. I can ask. Oh, oh, do, oh, it, do it. What is your question? Um, well, wait. What was it again? <laughs> what, what, was what, what, what has what has been taking the fisherman? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, what has been taking the fisherman? You see, as the, the glass, and it scratches out H, A, Herrick? That's what I was thinking. It's not how you spell Herrick. G. <gasps> A hag? Oh, that rules us out of that quest. <laughs> okay, that, that bodes poorly. That's bad news. Um, do, two more questions. What? Why can't she rest? Uh, okay. Mm. Oh, the white lady? That's yes. what we're asking. Okay. Yep. Why can you not rest? And you see one of the pa one of the panes of glass, <laughs> and it shatters. Oh. Ah. 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 Well. Sensitive topic. Uh, apparently. I'll have to get that replaced. Huh. Barberton won't be happy about that. Okay. Well, um, wh why? Why? Why would the Duragar kill the speaker? Well, we know they were paid. She might just say because they were paid. Mm. What about I need um, to change who the paid them a little bit? Who paid them? The, who, who hired the Who hired who, the Durgar? Who hired the Durgar? The Durgar to kill. The, what about the Zara Dorak or whatever? Zara Dorak. What about who's oh, the, who's the, who's the, who's the, the real Rock. killer? Who's the real Dada killer? Rock. Quick, quickly, friends, quickly. Who's the real ice killer? I is. think someone hired Zardarok, though. So who's the real ice killer? Or yeah. what are yeah. we asking? Yeah, let's try that one. The cold-hearted killer. Yeah. Okay. Don't we have a lead on that, though? Yes. I would prefer to know who hired who hired the Dogar, but it's up yeah. to you. It's up to you, Zelvana. Oh, I don't mind. What the crap, guys? It's supposed to be a group. <laughs> <laughs> you just talked to the ghost so well. I'm just so happy that the window got smashed. I'm, I'm losing the connection. All right, guys. Wait, hold, hold on. All right. So, Zardarok? Who hired Zardarok? Is that what we're asking? Or just who hired the Durgar? Yeah. Okay. 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 Last question. Who hired the Durgar? To kill the speaker. To kill the speaker. <laughs> to kill the speaker. To kill the speaker. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how it happened. Oh, absolutely, it did. Like that's one, two, <laughs> five, three, sir, three. Yeah. <laughs> and then that's my reach out to Sean for the uh, Monty Python. <laughs> absolutely, and it's not a D and D game unless someone makes a Monty Python reference. And as the last pane frosts over, you see. The letter Z. It was you. I'm kidding. And candles all go out. Oh, that's incredible! And the frost. Surprised. You said the, le though. the letter Z. The letter Z. Letter Z. I'm I'm gonna lick it, Zavana. <laughs> <laughs> and then I I'm gonna. Nothing. Does anyone is anyone looking at me? Uh. 
I, I'm just apparently like, not. <laughs> okay, good. No, that's, I'm just I'm just that's looking good. around with a smile on my face. <laughs> like, this is awesome. That was great. Yeah, <laughs> that witch is crazy. That was crazy. That was really witch crazy. is be crazy. <laughs> and then and then Ronaldo's like, oh, oh, that was just, oh, I need to sit down. Oh, that was the Why connection. Why do you seem so excited? Oh, it's just. Don't you do this all the time? Yeah, this it's just been it was so strong. I've, oh, it's just so. Oh, thank you. A cigarette? Yeah, Thank we you. Just, we bring it. We or a drink? Oh, oh, I might need something stronger than tea. <laughs> uh. Who are these other two that are with us? Oh, this is this is my good friend Leah, and 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 this is uh, this is my other friend. The the uh, she helps me with my seances. Uh, I can't see her name because everyone's standing on top of her right now. <laughs> oh, uh, someone just uh, moved. Chels. <laughs> they just shuffle you all around there for a second and say, Chels and Leah. Oh. Have, have, you, have you done? Time. And they both they both look at the party and in unison go. Good evening. No, absolutely not. No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Are these and employees yep. of yours? No, no, good friends. They, they seem really intrigued by the supernatural. And and when I uh, talked to them about doing seances, they were they were right there with me. They're they're, they're very have insistent you, on being at every one. Have you done many seances with Ronaldo? Yes. What do you think about them? One of them goes, we find them fascinating. I hate this so much. <laughs> kind of want to kill them. <laughs> <laughs> when, when you're right, you're right. I'm not going to lie, we just talked to a ghost. And I definitely want to want to make two more. <laughs> <laughs> Are they, are they alive? <laughs> like, are they are they breathing? So, give me, uh, give me an insight check. I've got insight. I, I will, but I've got a passive Terrible. of sixteen as well. So yeah, <clears throat> passive. Of, with, with, <laughs> uh, fifteen. That's not bad. Plus zero modifier. So there is nothing about them that makes you think that they are undead or not human. But they have all the looks of like most of the people who were stuck indoors for 2020. They just are like, yeah. I have watched all the shows, and now I am the Netflix. <laughs> so now I am not. It's not, as, it's not as creepy and disturbing as you're playing it. Then it's kind of normal for Ten Towns. Yeah, yeah. Like in the same way that you're like, well, definitely not walking down that alley. Okay. Like just, it, I just want you to be mindful because you, what you almost ended up with was two dead NPCs. Oh, oh, absolutely. They <laughs> <laughs> was being real suspicious. And, and an almost certain trudge across trudge across town to sleep at the wet trout. <laughs> <laughs> We're just turning this place into the wet trout. It's fun. <laughs> hey. Oh. Can't take us anywhere. Yeah, I mean, I love you all. I mean, he did say we were, yeah. you know, adventurers. It's true. It's true. Ronaldo, so has, has the white lady ever reacted violently like that before? Well, there was one time when someone asked about her husband, and I had to get a window fixed after that as well. So she seems not to respond well to questions about her past. But mm -hmm. uh, other than that, she seems to have a great knowledge of the things that go on around the... Uh, the, the the like. What other types of questions have people asked her? Oh goodness, um. Well, let's see. They've asked about uh, whether or not there was any gold at the bottom of the lake. Uh, if if the rhyme would end anytime soon, how do you end the rhyme? Uh, and were there were there good answers for any of these questions? Ah, uh, let's see here. Is there gold in the lake? Uh. Well, that's so that's the strange part at first she said yes then she said no then she said hands all in the same hands. reading or subsequent ones subsequent readings subsequent readings people are always asking oh. about the gold in the bottom of the lake so there was gold then there and wasn't. someone has removed the gold yes and now they someone have hands with hands is there gold in the lake hands is not an intelligible answer. Well, 
It depends on how, what the wording was. Who asked? Well, various and sundry people who've uh, walked through. I mean, the, the white lady is uh, is quite a uh, 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 prodigious establishment among people who like prodigious establishments. This well, is the kind of highbrow entertainment that you offer. Oh, of course, of course. Only the, the finest of supernatural service. Did she say, what did she say about the rhyme ending? Oh. Well, that, she just said one word. And that was? Death. Well, that, <laughs> I guess, technically. The white lady's like a magic eight ball. Right. We have a lot of different meanings. Check again, check again later. Super I'm cryptic. I'm going to look at Leah just like dead ass in her face. What's your favorite question that's ever been asked? Will we ever feel the sun again? I'm going to reach out and grab the back of Xander's like jacket and just like slowly pull it back towards me. <laughs> as, Not like a lot. As, just <laughs> As Leah says that, then like Chell's kind of gets eerily close to Xander and Flynn and goes, she said no. She seems a bit dour. Yeah, a little bit. A bit of, yeah. Well, friends, I am exhausted from this night's festivities. I, I thank you so much for your participation and your willingness to receive the spirits. Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, I'll, uh, I'll uh, see you all in the morning for... Uh, for breakfast? Oh yes. yes. What what will we be having for breakfast? Not fish not, pie, right? Not pie. Eggs, bacon, tomato. You oh. didn't do well the last time you had tomato for breakfast. Oh, mm. I don't know if that was just for meeting Paul. <laughs> <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> And on that note, we're going to go ahead and take our five-minute bio break. And when we come back, the party will venture out onto Lac de Nature to try to find the missing fisherman. Welcome back, ladies, gentlemen, adventurers, all to Cold Hard Witch. Friendly Neighborhood Dungeon Master here, otherwise known as the FNDM. The party just survived a seance. Seance, it ain't so. And with oh, that, they learned wow. some very, <laughs> some very Did you take the whole break to think of that one? Party, like, collectively grown. Can we roll for... <laughs> like, y'all just passed. All right. So, uh, with that, they learned some very helpful information about the oncoming creature that they may have to tackle, and as well as who murdered or actually who paid for the murder of the speaker of the town of East Haven. Hmm. So with this, they are now on to the next day. And with that, they begin their tale in the common room of the White Lady Inn. Me, 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 me. Yay. Huh? Foods. All right. So uh, you wake so, up. Yeah, oh, I, 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 I just... I'm sorry, you said we were at breakfast. I will retract that. Absolutely. Yes. So, Fariel, she typically wears a hood or a mask. Oh, correct? Both. Uh, do you lower your mask to eat, or do you just not eat in the presence of company? I don't generally eat very much in front of you. Okay. But if I do, like, my hood is going to be like, like a cowl, you know, she like, like way covers over. her, her plate <laughs> yeah. Her hood yeah. So you can eat. All right. Yeah. In was the back corner, like you only yeah. had soup, but she had a straw through the mask. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, she got that like Afro samurai custom straw that she just like. <laughs> <laughs> Mmm, tasty. All right. So, so I'm assuming that was we're, just we're having we're having breakfast then. Yeah. All right. Um, so, uh, is it just us? Is, is Ronaldo in yeah the yeah uh you, you kind of look over in the corner and you you do see that like looks like Chels and Leah are hanging out at one of the tables as well oh, do they look so less, are they doing do anything they, or are they just staring like I mean do they so look like, less creepy so there's, this there's like food in front of them and then like there's there's drinks in front of them as well and then like the minute you all look at them they go how old do they look 
they appear to be around that like age wherein like going to hot topic is not embarrassing. So like I'm saying, like, so like, mid thirties, <laughs> <laughs> like forty four. Yeah, right. Like exactly. any age yeah. ever. So like I'm saying like early twenties, <laughs> probably still living in like their grandma's house or something like you know just like like just but really locked into like being super dark. Gotcha. Um, Someone should uh, try to pick their pockets. Uh, yes, just, we'll put Fairy Ellen on here uh, in just in a few minutes. What do we know as a group, potentially, about hags? I don't. Ooh. Ooh. I don't love the sound of it. I mean, obviously, we we probably all know something from fairy tales, Ryan. But mm -hmm. Would would any of us know anything more than that? Can is there a hag check? <laughs> I'm proficient hag in hag. Everybody roll, everybody roll uh, hag. I believe check. I've got a ticket for my hag check. Uh, there it is. All right. So. <laughs> 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 Rhyme of the Frost Mating. Come for the danger, stay for the pun. No. Right. No. Oh, oh, <laughs> that's our slogan. Uh, yeah. All right, friends. So uh, <laughs> go ahead can. and roll me. Uh, roll me either uh, roll me a history or uh, arcana if you uh, if you want to try what either of those two. See what I can give you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> is all right. all looking good. I got so, a nine. For those of you playing along at home, we have a nine, a fourteen, an eleven, and an eight. So Herrick <laughs> and a nine and a seven. And a seven. <laughs> oh man! Wow. wow. Hags are great. Oh, oh, Xander. Oh, best 17 uh, coming in. Yeah, but Xander Wait a rolled twice. Xander rolled twice. You oh, could roll he, either he history or arcana. But I did. Rolled... I rolled either of them both. How oh, dare you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I have an 11. This comes to where we had a goal with so, the DM. Hey. hey, hey. <laughs> we got it in the hag. Yeah, right. one. DM um, tips, how to uh, how to break your DM as a group. <laughs> yeah, right. Just keep rolling. See if he notices. All right. So uh, with the 14 on history, oh, Herrick Oakenbaden, uh, you know that hags are witches uh, and that they typically uh, they can work either solitary or by covens. Uh, a coven of hags is not to be messed with. Um, it, they, they are very powerful group spellcasters. A solitary hag is still a danger and that the, you do know that there are uh, various types of hags as well, uh, including but not limited to night hag, green hags, sea hags. So uh, those, I say that that's what you're able to sort of recall uh, from your 14. Lake hags? Fisherman hag. Well, we did. Like a sea hag wannabe. So maybe it's like freshwater, down. freshwater hag. The, yeah, uh, like the answer on the window pane was hag and not plural. So you're right. You're right. So, yeah. So that that's kind of what I'm hoping is that she she's being straight with us there. Or she's the hag and she's luring us in. Dun dun dun. Wah, wah, oh. wah. God, that's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> She's definitely not at 1133 Sea Cove Lane. <laughs> Don't go there. <laughs> I, I, I see what you did there. <laughs> yes. So we're we leaving? Well, I'm waiting on Ronaldo to bring us some breakfast. Oh yeah, so, you're, so I'm sorry. You were at breakfast, so breakfast yes. was laid out on the table for you. So I see. Apologies. Yeah, I, I look for the sausage, and it's it, like it kind of looks like sausage, but if upon close inspection, it looks like someone may have tried to like mash fish into sausage shape. So like y'all, you, you pretty much are dealing with like the Icewind Dale version of fish sticks. Ha! Ah! You know, that's I'm okay with that. As long as they didn't try to push fish pie into sausages, that's fine. I'm I'm all good with fish sticks. I'm it's, I'm, a, I'm a kid of the '80s. I'm fine. We're not gonna escape <laughs> the fish. I think it's pretty much the entire economy of this I've town. Got fish sticks in the freezer. I mean, I like fish. Mm. Could have just some fish and grits with this. That wouldn't be bad. Mm. Yeah, there you go. 
There you go. There you go. All right. Thank so I, I guess we'll, I guess we'll, uh, if we're, if we're done with breakfast, we can head that way. Do we want to go over and say goodbye to uh, our newly found friends? And no. If Fairy by Ella. say goodbye, you mean <laughs> yeah. pick their pockets, then Give yes. Fairy Ella chance. Pretty sure those two are gravity well. If you Is walk over to them, you'll... you'll get sucked into them. Is there something you're interested in acquiring? No. Whatever it's, is in their pocket. I just. But it's legal. It's legal. It, and it is. It, they seemed pretty zoned out. I figured if you wanted to polish up. Hey, it's up to you. It's not my bag either, but go for it. <laughs> I mean, sure. Go talk to them. I'm pretty sure those eyes see all. Why would you want to speak to the strange ones again? Uh, to provide running a distraction. Yeah, to provide cover so Fairy I can pick their pockets. I look at them. Oh yeah, they look like they're loaded. It's probably going to be like rat tails or something. Oh, Gross. probably yes. Uh, oh god. Well, Wait, we'll so... have we'll have rat tail <laughs> stew. <for. laughs> we'll have we'll have what? Sorry, rat tail <laughs> stew for lunch. We will have no such oh, thing. Oh god. <laughs> All right, all right, all go right. distract them. Who's running? I'll go. I'll, 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 I'll go. Come on, Flynn. Let's I'll do just, it. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Ladies, uh, it's good to see you again after last night's seance. It was good to have some extra energy in the room helping us out. So uh, we feel like you really, you really did something for us there. Do you accompany him every night? They haven't taken their eyes off of Xander. And then Leah looks at Xander and goes, You smell like the water. I, 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 Whenever they seem... Baby, that's just the ocean breeze. Distracted, I'll move in. Um, All right, go ahead and make a, uh, a sleight of hand check. All right, you guys asked for this. <laughs> yes. I'm just saying. Xander, when is the last time you were near water? Yesterday. Well, yesterday we were on a boat. Aww. Aww. But we it was ice. It wasn't With a really 13 water. sleight of hand check. I'll smack up. Yeah, we busted. They, so, so they rolled a 19 for their perception. Oh, uh, good. So, uh, so they definitely see like Fairy Owl kind of like, like going to the booth behind them and like trying to slide the hand over and then like Chell's ghost and like looks at like just locks eyes with Fariel. She's just like, you don't look afraid of the dark. The dark is my friend. The dark is your ally. <laughs> <laughs> the dark is your ally. Indeed it is. Uh, Are you afraid of the dog? And then they both get up and just kind of walk <laughs> past both uh, Xander and the professor. I think uh, they walk through you. Like I just yeah, saw yeah kind of a little bit. <laughs> let's let's go. Well beat done, some ladies. Shit up. Enjoy I, your day. Is, I am really kind of weirded out. Now. Let's go beat some some shit. Yeah, up. let's go. Uh, all right, let, let's go haul a boat. Mm. All right. So, my friends, you make your way to uh, back to the ferry. Uh, uh, as you remember, sort of talking to Imdra, uh, the captain of the guards here in the town of East Haven, she said that you could go ahead and take the ferries, uh, skiffs, essentially, the, the boats that they had stored uh, in the lower level there. Mm -hmm. And then you are going to go ahead and take those boats and start walking. So as, as you walk out across the ice, uh, you're going to trudge, uh, to trudge, uh, uh, to trudge uh, until you get to the actual trudge. open water from uh, the, the frozen lake itself. So uh, who are, we have uh, three teams essentially, who mm -hmm. are the teams in what boat? Um, so my strength is 14 plus two, is that a plus two modifier? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a plus two modifier. So whoever wants to, I don't know if that's strong or not comparatively to other people, so yeah. Well, the highest modifier you can have is a plus five modifier, but that is like a, a, a strength score or a score of 20, So, and very few characters get those scores until, especially this early in the game. So having a plus two is actually not that bad. 
Um, for for reference, I have a minus one. Exactly. Exactly. I have a zero. Oh, so on the scale zero. of skills, you have all the way from twenty to essentially one, and then the modifiers go from negative five all the way up to plus five, and then the average is actually a zero. So if you have a modifier bonus to it, a plus one, two, three, four, or five, you're actually above average on that. So Silvana with a plus two, you're actually a little bit of well above average for strength. So you're actually probably one of the stronger party members. I imagine Herrick, you might have a, a, a decent strength as well. Yeah, plus three. Plus three, all right. So party members, go ahead and suss out. Uh, I imagine you, you so, should you have a, if you have a lower strength modifier, perhaps partner up with a partner who has a good strength modifier. So Herrick, Silvana, and I will each take a bolt to haul, and then one of you all will pair it with Everyone with the score of <laughs> zero down will compare it with one of us. Yeah. I'll go so, with Glenn. Uh, <laughs> um, well, and I'll go with Herrick since I have a minus one. So. <laughs> yeah. Perfect. But I do, You're so with me. And I. I do want yeah. it to seem like I'm pulling my weight, though. I don't want it to seem like he's doing everything. Oh, he's doing mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. he's, he's probably got it on his back, like sideways. <laughs> <laughs> he's strapped Brilliant. onto his bag somehow. <laughs> All right, friends. So, uh, t so we can either do this one of two ways. You can either roll your strength check with advantage. Oh, those of you with a higher strength check, or you can each roll a strength check and then have that be the strength check for your boat. Advantage. Go with advantage. <laughs> On average, O oh players at home, advantage is always the better way to go, as it sort of usually like maths out to having a, like a plus three to your roll. However, <laughs> no, just kidding. <laughs> uh, so Herrick comes in with his advantage at 19. Zilvana, I see you have a 21. You could certainly roll. Says she's got a plus three as well. Yeah, right. yeah. A plus it says, three. It says plus two on the thingy. Yeah. On my, on my, on my sheet. Is that the saving throw? Wait, or strength is that, check? Or, or is that saving check. throw? Or is that the uh, saving throw wouldn't add a one. It would add a two minimum. That's true. That's very true. Well, uh, um, what is your I actual strength? Wait. Up the top. So maybe she did kill the speaker. No, I did the I did the thing from the top. Yeah, the yeah, yeah. That, no, you, you did a strength check. So what does it, it say yeah, your so strength is? is her strength says, is four, 14, so it's a plus two. 14 oh, plus two. Interesting. I don't know why I did that. Let's not argue. Let's go for it. No. Yeah, <laughs> we'll take it. I'm intrigued. All right, and then, ooh, Tiberius coming in at a 19. And then that's boat one, two, and three. Excellent. So with those rolls, you are able to, like, get those boats out across the ice. Easy peasy. And you get oh, yourself. she has track of, track of all trades. Uh -huh. I was just going to say that. Yeah, I just saw that on her sheet. That's, that's right. right. Me? Yeah. yeah. I have no idea what that means, but okay. <laughs> so, uh, Bard with Jack of All Trades means that you get to basically add like one and a half modifier to, uh, uh, you get to add your proficiency. Ha half your proficiency. Half your proficiency to every skill that you have. So it's one of the reasons why you play a Bard is because you're pretty good at damn near everything. Just um, okay. So with that strength check, that checks out. Sweet. All right, so uh, you met with those 19, 19, and 21. You managed to get the boats to the water, easy peasy. And now, my friends, you're able to go ahead and get into the boats and out onto the water. Uh, I am palpably, <laughs> palpably nervous on the boat. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. all right, friends. So uh, as you sort of get into the boats, yes, everyone getting in? Yep. Yep. All right, getting into the boats, yep. shove it off. Now, keep in mind, your cold weather gear works really, really well, provided it doesn't stay. get wet. Mm -hmm. It needs to stay dry. Now, how we're going to go ahead and do this little boating uh, expedition here is that I'll need a group survival check from the party. If you pass that survival Ooh. check, fantastic. Anybody who doesn't pass the check or if you fail the check by uh, – uh, if you fail the check – hard i'm gonna need you to make a deck save if you fail that deck save that means you go into the water now you're able to survive in the water because it's frigid water you have uh, the number of minutes available to you that is your con uh, ability so you have that many minutes in the water but keep in mind you want to get out as soon as you can and also our ability score or our modifier 
uh, should be your uh, it says ability it says it says con score. So that's your score. Okay. Ability score. Oh wow. Now, now, so you, you've got time to not immediately die, but uh, if you do stay in the water longer than that, you will start to suffer exhaustion. All right. All right. Okay, so, so what are yeah. we rolling? Survival. Right, friends, survival. So as a party, I need a survival check. Okay. How do I do that? It's oh, a skill. It is a skill. Son of a bitch. Oof. <laughs> All right. First one's a five <laughs> from uh, Flynn. So, okay, oh, I'm sorry. First one was a twelve. Yeah, I have twelve. Oh no. Five. Oh, a one. Oh, thank oh, God. No. All 22. right. And an actual so, 20 as well. 22. So, so we two, have three, four. 12. Oh, Professor. Five. So 12, a five. A I got a crit fail. A critical fail. Oh, yeah. And then a 22, a 20, and a critical fail. success, 22. You couldn't split that more evenly with <laughs> than if I tried. Does right? the crit count for two successes, though? But the... The crit, crit fail, fail though probably oh. is two failures, so it evens out, right? So yeah. well, so I'll have the crit failure and the crit success like will level each other out, and so that means that you manage to pass this like this survival check. All right, so you you manage to barely. keep boats barely together. However, I will need Fariel, Flynn, and the professor professor at disadvantage to make a dexterity saving throw. Jeez, I'm a crow. That's crap. <laughs> oh, no. I think we just capsized. They did say advantage. I said disadvantage for the professor. Oh. Yep, yep. So Flynn rolled an 11. He passes. Fariel rolled a crit fail. So she, so the, the I got 11. Yeah. And the professor rolled an 11. So he passes. However, Fariel for some reason, like your footing goes out from underneath you. And as you go to catch yourself, you flip over the side of the rail and into the water you go. All right. Mm. Who's in Fariel's boat? Flynn. Oh, yeah. Um, rope. <sighs> yeah. That's so loud. <laughs> are, are, we, are we traveling single file or are we, are we the, where we can assist? So, so I, I'm, I'm imagining oh. you're sort of traveling and like trying oh. to play <laughs> As it were, but <laughs> <laughs> so Fariel is over the side. Uh, Flynn, go ahead and what are you going to do? I'm going to throw a rope out to her. All right, so you throw a rope out to her. Go ahead and uh, give me a uh, give me a strength check. Cool. Okay. Or you know what? Give me acrobatics or an athletics. Ooh. To, okay. to, th to throw rope. To throw rope. That's hard. Uh, I'm making that acrobatics. All right. A 14. Excellent. So it sails out. Boom. As it sails out, Fariel is still currently under the water. So, Fariel, you are currently under the water. So, uh. Is it I'm, dark? Can I open my eyes? Can I see? Yeah. Oh, it's, it's abso absolutely. You can open your eyes. Yeah. So. Um, you start, so you like the, it is, it is a rude awakening to fall into the lock and share. Um, as you yeah, open your eyes, like you your, see? your dark vision goes off and it's, you're just like, you see the world in like fading shades of like blue and gray and it's like quiet and you hear like the, of the ice as it's just sort of like snapping and popping above you. And it's this sort of eerie calm as like the shock of the cold starts to leave your body a little bit. And you're like, oh, I could stay here. What do you do? So I take a minute and look around and then kind of snap out of it and be like, no, oh shit, no, I gotta go and like start swimming for the top. Excellent, excellent. Uh, give me athletics or acrobatics. Okay. The swimming's gotta be athletics. That's gonna be acrobatics. A athletics, you think? It's, it's not acrobatics. Athletics is climbing, swimming. Oh, you fair, want no, me sorry. to drown. No, I don't. Yes. I'll jump in after <laughs> you in a minute. I mean, acrobatics like is tightrope walking and 
Uh. Tumble it out of the way or something. If the DM says I can roll either, <laughs> then he's the DM. <laughs> <laughs> what do you want me to roll? I'm gonna say, uh, I want you I want, I want you to roll as well as you can. That's what I want you to roll. <laughs> Alright, so uh, athletics or acrobatics. Okay. Because I'm a friendly neighborhood DM. It's in my Sweet. title. Thank God. All right, so uh, with, 19, <laughs> Yay. with 19, you break the surface. The rope is right there. Uh, Just grab deep, it. Excellent. So grab it, and then uh, Flynn, this is going to be an athletics check. Gotcha. Can I, uh, like, oh. from my end, help him, you know, by, like, Kicking or like, and, and with all know, this, like, we haven't been able to maneuver to the so that we can help them. I, I mean, you add, so this so this is happening essentially in the first round, uh, as it were, buddy or, okay. or Xander, and so like trying to get the boats to go back towards them, uh, because to my mind they were in a, like you're in the triangle formation, and like the Fariel and Flynn were sort of on that that bottom corner of the triangle there. And so as she went over, the, the other two boats are trying to come over to the side, but she's I, mean, I don't remember telling you that that was our marching order. But I... <laughs> In fact, you're correct. You didn't tell me I'm marching over, so I get to make one up. That's fair, <laughs> fair point, fair point. Athletics, athletics. <laughs> yeah, ooh, ooh, strong flex. Long flex. Okay, excellent. And then, uh, uh, because how many of you all still have, and I'm pretty sure I'm lagging. No, you're good. Uh, so... With your that athletics check and with uh, wait no I'm gonna throw this uh the inspiration onto it because I'm not losing this now. <laughs> we got a there fourteen. So what's that a D? Uh, well, so, I. So that that athletics check and say uh you you, you yeah you might want to put a little yeah salt. yeah so is that a D six? What, what, um, what inspiration? So the the D six is gone. You, you 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 we weren't gifted a D six this evening. However, if you have a D twenty inspiration, that's from, the one I got. Yeah, there it is. So do I just roll it again, or just roll it just to d20 on top of that? Uh, go ahead and roll it again. Roll for your life. For roll. my life. Roll for my life. Did it go? It's not going. Not going. The stress is killing her. Oh! oh. My God. All right. So, like, with the 14, like, you get the rope and you kind of, you pull it back. And then, like, as you go to, like, get a nice big tug on it, like, it starts to slip out your hand. And you're like, oh, no, 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 no. And you go to grab it. All right? So, whew. with the 14, you're able to get get her a little bit closer to the boat, but you're not able to get her in. Uh, now, uh, Xander's boat and then also Zalvana's boat. Or no, no, I'm sorry. Xander and Herrick. That, those are the other two. All right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, so... So Xander and Herrick, and then I've got yeah. Zalvana and the Professor? Yes. Lovely. What what would seem to be the best, the, the most help? Would it be on Fariel's side to help her, or on the opposite side to brace Flynn's boat? So I've got uh, Zalvana, it's, to my mind, Zalvana and the Professor, who are kind of in the lead, uh, they come around and they are now at the side or at the at the front of Flynn's boat. And then, to my mind, Xander and Herrick have now sort of come to the opposite side of the basically the the butt end of the boat, so that you have you sort of pinned in uh, Fariel and Flynn's boat. So well, you, I, I would never make that as a tactical move. All right. So what's your tactical move then? It would either be. One boat needs to be on Fariel's side. The other boat needs to be on the other side so that one boat can help Fariel and one boat can counterbrace Flynn's boat. Okay, great. So that as she's coming over the side, his boat isn't tipping to Stay dump steady, in. yeah. I like that. I like and that so a lot. doing okay. that, I would say that they both get advantage on their checks. Which is exactly what I was about to say. So with that, <laughs> well, good. let's go ahead <laughs> and uh, Flynn... Go ahead and roll me an athletics check with advantage to pull her back into the boat. And Fariel, roll with advantage and athletics checks to get yourself out of the water. At avantage. Nice. 19. There you go. And an 18. There you go. Yes. So she is out of the water, into the boat, and <gasps> just, <gasps> just like all kinds of wet and cold. Look, cut kind of look like a, a cat just got a bath like it's just the most unhappy of all creatures you know what this is it's some damn girls they put some kind of rook on 
<laughs> the last Same, like, time I ever attempt to pick a pocket for you. <laughs> I, no, I I don't disagree. That was that was th those we just need to go. Those bitches was they didn't they didn't ripped us. Oh. All right. So now, oh party members of mine, go ahead and roll a survival check again to get yourself off the lake and to your location. Uh, hey, go ahead her, and do that. Her, her, her. times. <laughs> Herc, can can I? Can I bar borrow your your cube? Get the cube on you? Of course you can. And uh, he'll get it out and speak the word uh, Berenar Narvel. Oh, no. Um, that, okay, so Zalvana with a 13 is a uh, fail. No! <clears throat> 19. Lynn with a 16 is a, is a success. Oh, Professor Jesus. With a 19 is a success. Xander with a 15 is a success. Ferial with a 15 is a success. And Herrick, just to keep things interesting, rolled a crit fail on seven. Uh. So that's a fail. But four, two, uh, two is a success on the survival check. So as you get the boats to the shore, however, I am going to need uh, both uh, um, both Herrick and Zolvana to make a dexterity saving throw. We're at the shore, though, right? So the, as far as drowning... Right. As far as drowning, wet, they're going to be wet and cold. As, as far as keeping you sh warm. Mm. Oh, no. Okay, Herrick, roll. She rolled a nine. Oh, yeah, yeah. So Vanna rolled, so she kind of like, as the boat comes in, she didn't Ooh. break the ice. Herrick comes in with a 16, so he is good. He manages to keep his footing in it. So I, I, I derped, one. I'm going to derp real hard. As like, yeah, as the boat kind of hits the, the, the icy shore, you buck and, and kind of fall backwards off of it. And okay. like you go back into the water. Now, granted, is... you know. It's it's not deep enough to drown you, but it's deep enough to get you wet. So uh, that's definitely something I would do in real life. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that feels that feels real. That yeah. feels real. Dude, All right. Sorry. Oh goodness, friends. <laughs> I'm I'm wet. Yeah. <laughs> this sucks. Um, I would like to try something. Um, <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Uh, I want to see if I can activate my Dark Shard amulet to try to cast a cantrip from the Warlock spell list that is not normally, that I don't normally know. Interesting. So, let's, here, let's, can well, I, while yeah, he's let's doing send, that, yeah, I'm let's gonna... send you this. So, I've got to make an Arcana check, basically. Excellent. All right, friends. So let's have all of you jump in on the lock shore here. Huh? Lock shore. Um, uh, over. Yeah, yeah. Up, uh, up here by the. Uh, yeah. By the boat. Okay. By the boat. Uh, there is a cantrip called Create Bonfire. Uh, it's from the source book EE. E. Mm -hmm. but... It's elemental evil. Yeah. Okay. Uh, is that something that you would allow me to have access to? I saw it on D and D Beyond, but Great I don't bonfire. know if that's, that's actually from... something that we're using. Is that Interesting. So it's, you can try to cast a spell that you don't know. The cantrip must be on the warlock's spell list, and you must yep. make a D10 Intelligence Arcana check. If it succeeds, you cast the spell. If the check fails, so does the spell and the action used. So, uh, so you burn it. But if it's a but if it's a cantrip, you're not actually burning. Oh, I guess it's a once a day I, thing. Yeah, I can use the actual amulet once a day. And you can only do it after. Okay, and so once you try this, it's that's done until you do a long rest. Yes. Yeah, and when create bonfire is from Xanathar's as well. It's on the yeah. wizard's list. No, no, on, after, the, on I mean, the warlock list. Is it? I thought it was, but I as didn't. A, as, oh, it's create bonfire. I was trying to look up produce bonfire. That's why. So as my namesake suggests. Okay. I am a, Friendly neighborhood DM. All right. So uh, I say, go ahead and shoot your shot. Yeah. Uh, point is, I'm trying to create a bonfire. Here's my arcana check. That you ice. maybe not create the bonfire on the ice over the liquid water. Yeah. I mean, you know. No, I mean, yeah. We can we can wait until I thought we were like on shore, shore. Right, right, right. right. If there's if there's only ice. Well, you're not no, sure yet, but okay. it'll be a sure thing when you figure it out. 
Oh my god. god. I'm, wow. If wow. you were here, I might <laughs> slap you. Well, Are you sure? That would be a sure thing. Uh, so, oh. Well, I'm definitely going to... You know what? Gonna... Fariel, Fariel looks fine. I don't need him. <laughs> <laughs> Professor gets back in the boat, starts rowing back to... Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna go stand by Fariel since she has. The yeah, cube. I'll share um, Herrick's cube. We should probably her. not have that uh, on the ice. You might not want to stand still with that. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Oh, not right, over right. the liquid water either. So, so, uh, is, th so is this hard shore over here, right? Yes. So looking at the map, you kind of see that this is the, sort of a, the hard-packed rock of the shoreline, and then this is sort of the, the beginning of the cave walls um, along here. So if you go ahead and put your bonfire there, I imagine you're gonna be a little bit better off. Okay. Then yes, let's go that way. Let's let's go that way. Oh, the dark ice is the shore. The light ice is the water. Yes. Got it. Oh. That makes much more sense. Yeah, I definitely thought it was the dark stuff was water, so yep. I was confused as well. <laughs> I could see. I could see. Yeah. No, I tried. I tried to make that herbious and there's, I had a fifty-fifty chance. Fine. <laughs> All right. And so and so while they're dealing with the fire, this is not our boat, then. Oh. No, it is not. A right, rowboat. Well, Bob's that... untethered uh, next to some... Uh, untethered in the water amid some small ice flows, not far from the 80-foot-high cliffs that are above the shoreline. In the distance, you can see the mouth of four caves that dot the cliff sides. Okay. Uh, did we bring our boats up onto the ice pack? Uh, yeah, so I, I, would okay. have, I would have your boats sort of uh, in this area, her. So. Yeah, that's fine. I just want to make sure that ours weren't left out in the liquid water. That's I fair. guess I guess while they're doing bonfire, I'll take an investigation whack at this boat. Sounds good. Yeah. Uh, bonfire lasts a minute, but hopefully it'll give you time to dry off a little bit. 14 on my investigation. 14 on your investigation. So, uh, as you investigate the boat, uh, you see that it, it uh, sort of scrawled into the side of it is the name Bunch O' Knuckleheads. <laughs> Great. Yep, well, and uh, inside there is like fishing tackle and, and line, uh, maybe a few bo empty bottles of, uh, as you sniff that, you're like, uh, definitely some sort of liquid inside of it, but with a 14, you're like, eh. You, you, you could hedge your bets as to what they were drinking. But. Yeah, no, you can concentrate on it and keep it going, by the way, the bonfire. Uh, but only yeah. up to a minute, I thought, no, right? So a minute, or you can concentrate oh. and keep it going. That's a trait. <laughs> well, we, have, we have the cube, oh, too. The, with the, the cube. cube. Yeah, we do yeah. have the cube. That is true. Oh, praise the cube. <laughs> uh, so, the, so the fire, so the bonfire's gone off. <laughs> Right? Yeah. Yeah. And then when you've got the cube as well next to it. Mm -hmm. Excellent. Well, if nothing else, the bonfire is going to give us a little more light since we're always in kind of the twilight. Of... You, that is that is correct. So it, it is. So you are sort of starting out in the early parts of the day, but this is this is that that dim twilight that is just sort of rocking out with its with its bad self. This is the golden hour that we get during the day then. Yeah, yeah, that, that ten to sort of three chunk. Uh and friends, I'm gonna need you to, to roll for initiative. Oh jeez. Oh, wow. I, I don't see a turn tracker. Do oh, you mean this one right here? Damn, there it is. Ah. <laughs> Where did I go? Oh I didn't actually follow you guys over there. I forgot to click my thing first. It's all right. It's all right. I'm sorry. No, I'm no. I forgot to click my thing first as well. <laughs> the first one was excusable. The second one. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, do I need to? Do I need to do it again, or just tell you what um, I have? You can click on it and run yeah, it no, again we can. And just edit it. Yeah. We can fix it in post. All right. Oh, it's it's um, low anyway, so. <laughs> oh, it's low. Oh. Yeah, I don't. I don't even want to. I don't even want to read that. Now. I picked the wrong class for hating to go first in initiative. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. Absolutely, you did. Like, that is just not the case. Okay, so I see the one, two, three. Wait, what? I only see four people on the tracker. 
Because we forgot to click the thing first. Oh, okay, 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 okay. That's what bad. That's we just talked about that, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah. So to fix Maybe. that, you can click on it and then re-roll it, and then you can click on your number and change it back to the original roll yourself. Yeah. So let's oh, see. Oh, I can. Here. Yeah. Yeah. So Zavala got a twelve point yeah. five. Cariel seventeen point eight. Okay. Should I just re-roll or? Just... Yeah. Click your token and just re-roll it. Okay. Okay. Da, 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 da. Go and now edit okay. it. And oh, you... and now it's like a yeah. freaking night. Yeah. If you, if, you, yeah. if you go now, to go it now, says, go back yeah. and put it to the crappy one again. And... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. You see where the no. initiative tracker is? You can click on your number, and it will go yellow. I did it. Oh my okay. goodness. All right. Okay. All right. Lovely. So, friends, as you, uh, as you, as, as you, as the bonfire goes off, there is sort of this, like clattering of a of, of rock that kind of comes loose a little bit and you hear what sounds like a human scream like echo from off the cave walls as does it sound like a fisherman scream <laughs> no we're because if so we found them we yeah. found them uh, yeah. now run they're <laughs> drunk and screaming they're fine yeah totally fine all right, excellent. Oh, is that a big cat? That is a big cat. Ah, cat! Yeah, right? That is. Oh. That's not a human at all. Nope. Let's make France with it. That's cute. I yeah. know! You can name it Paulette. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Why Paulette? <laughs> because Paul. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Paul, Paulette, Paulina. There we go. All right. Paulie. Mm -hmm. Molly. Lovely. Um, there's two of them in the tracker. Oh, uh, there's. There, I didn't scroll down far enough. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, there sure are. Don't you I worry. I don't see but one. Right. So, friends, top of the mm -hmm. order is Ferial Torana. Why? <laughs> okay, so... Cats. Cats. Um, <laughs> what, are the, ca what are the cats doing? Are they just chilling? Are they, like, so, like they, stalking? So you, are they so like, so like you saw one of them sort of like crest that this little top of the mountain here and it sort of lets out this in this human scream it's just sort of like Aah! it sounds like a human in like being ripped apart oh i don't like that and they both are sort of looking at you oh okay mm -hmm. um well in that case I am going to pull out my bow and just shoot at this one that's the one that's a little bit closer to us. Yes. Right. Taking a shot at Cat Numero Uno. Ooh, nice. Ooh. I'll say, oh yeah, I'd say that 22 does us, does, that, that, that'll hit, that'll do. All right. So then, right. if I click it in roll twenty, or it'll yes. yeah, yeah, click, click, the, click the think. Nice, oh. nice, and that is going to be nine damage total. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right, lovely, lovely. All right, that that mm -hmm. arrow sinks into the cat, and it, it like recoils from the shot as it goes into its arm. All right, lovely. Up next is uh, if there's anything else, Fario. Uh, I'll just be like. Oh, there's two of them. Oh. <laughs> but I'm not going to move. Big damn cat. <laughs> yeah. All right. The professor is up now. All right. Um, Great. Yeah. Looks like cat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> uh. <laughs> this one's close enough. Which one did Fario just hit? She hit the one on the right or the left? I say the one that was. She right hit bottom right. There. She hit that one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that's the only one that's close enough right now. I'm gonna try to send a mind sliver at that one. How do I cast? Cast. <laughs> well, hopefully you're the warlock. You. All right. Ah. Oh, so I, it needs to make a DC 13. DC 13 int save. Yep. All right. So uh, this one has a negative three to its intelligence. That's so nice. It rolls a six. All right, five psychic damage then. 
And it also has a minus d4 from the next saving throw it makes. Ooh, okay. Minus d4. Well done. All right. Anything else, Professor? Uh, that is it. I just look at it really hard. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and it gets all Mind confused. over matter. <laughs> and its brain hurts. Actually, I will move a little bit if I can. All right. No, yeah, absolutely. You can go ahead and take your movement at any point during your turn. Yeah, we're just going to move a little bit that direction. Xander, you're up next. Yeah, so I'm going to... Shit. Damn 60-foot spells. I know. Yeah, That's what I was just looking at. Five, oops. 5, 10, 15 should put me in range. Yep. Uh, I am going to cast Toll the Dead on the one that has been damaged already. All right. All right. That's a DC 13 wisdom save. Wisdom save. All right. Shit. Oh, this is not your best seven, spell, is it? Roll the 17 for that wisdom save. Uh, yeah, then, uh, then, then, yeah, then nothing. Then I'm going to say, oh, shit. And I'm going to move back just to, like, send more feet back. Good, send away. <laughs> All right. They mean business. Yeah. Eric Oakenbane. <laughs> I will say, um, well, it looks like me and you holding the line, Flynn. I will move here. <laughs> Crack his okay. shoulders. Obviously, weapons and shield at the ready. And I will hold my attack for when come, one comes closer. Excellent. Okay. Holding your action. Love that. Uh, Tiberius. I mean, Flint. I am going to step right behind. Uh, oh, that's not the right. Step right behind Eric here. Okay. Um, Make sure he's got that cover. <laughs> and, uh, 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 what line would you think he'd Flint? Oh. oh. <laughs> I'm gonna try to hit this thing with a crossbow. Jeez, I'm crow. Okay. <laughs> nope. All right. With a oh, with a crit a fail. Of, a uh, yeah, yeah. With with a crit fail, it certainly does not hit. Um, Flynn, roll me a d100. I've oh. never seen a crossbow that healed the enemy before. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Very impressive. Uh, it's 23. <laughs> oh, I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Oh, no, that laugh no. is terrifying. Are you using your list again? I'm not using my list, but I'm using a, a Buddy Taylor special. The uh, the the line on your crossbow snaps. So. Oh, God. Is this what it feels like to be it, you when I'm gaming? It, yep. it sure does. It sure does. Yeah, yeah. Oh. So. No, wait, to feel like Ryan, you have to do that like three times in one game. That's true. That's true. Uh, coupled with critical successes as well. That's yeah. how that works. So, yeah. Yikes. So the line on your crossbow snaps. And so you will need to uh, to burn at least an action to restring it or, uh, or or drop it and draw something else. For the yep. Rest. All right, friends. This brings us up to Zolvana. Ah, all right. Um, I am going to cast dissonant whispers at well, actually well i have to move first i think <laughs> so i'm yeah um gonna need to move there <laughs> now i will say that as you saw the first attack hit the cat the cat was sort of taken aback because it had just been shot with the arrow but then as the toll of the dead went off the cat just sort of shook its fur and as it shook its fur it seemed to sort of almost like shake off the effects of Toll of the Dead. Oh great. Well that's because he beat my save though right? It was. You hope. <laughs> Go on. It, it did. It did beat your save. It's just oh, I don't shit. have anything that's going to help. You can always inspire people too. Don't yeah, that's that. true. As an uh, that bonus action, bardic inspiration. That those d sixes will save lives. Okay. Well, how, how many of those can she do a day? I believe you're currently Charisma, up to charisma modifier, something like that. Yeah, I'm up three? to four. Four. It's so saucy. It's so. 
Mary, ist. So, oh, oh. ist indeed. Um, <laughs> all right, then I'm gonna I'm gonna maybe step back a little bit then, and <laughs> encourage the other people to not suck. So <laughs> I'm gonna step Do back here. better. Hey guys. <laughs> Don't hey guys, <laughs> you got this. <laughs> you can do it. You have to inspire one of us specifically, though. Oh yeah. God, why? <laughs> okay. Um, oh the oh the cat's next. This is not good. I'm gonna inspire Fairy Else, and she's gonna be, you know, next. Uh, so. did that? No. So good luck, Fairy Else. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Wow, that <laughs> best bardic inspiration ever. Uh, good luck, yo. <laughs> you got best. this. Honestly, for a fairy elf, that's probably appropriate. Yeah, yeah right. Like, yeah. Thanks. Not wrong. Okay, so now the first cat is going to go, and it's going to take its eighty. Feet oh God. Of movement with a dash, with a dash. <laughs> Just everyone, calm down. You're all right. You're all right. Everybody, okay. So it's going to move its eighty feet to there with the dash as it runs along. Uh, not it, a, yeah. not a, that's difficult terrain. Uh, not for a cat. They I could live there. there. Not for the not for the cat with the climb. So, uh, yeah. They're so close. <laughs> Too close. <laughs> All right. And then, uh, the, it's, so that's the, that's the first cat's turn taking its dash. Bad kitty. Second cat is going to go ahead and do the exact same thing. Oh, no. Uh, moving. <laughs> Oh goodness! Some something upset. So Cat, it's gonna not move. Dog. We so Ryan. We after you move, we should mark where the fire is, only because that could be if we can set one of them on fire. Yeah. Yeah, that, that would not be a terrible idea, friends. Uh, here. I'll draw it. <laughs> right, right underneath that one cat. It's got to be on the dark blue. <laughs> we already established that. Oh, I thought it had to be on here. Hold alt. Because remember, that's a that's a wall, friends. So, oh. all right, let's go here. Give me alt. Give me a circle. Ha! I like it. Ha. That's a that's a bonfire. Not as impressive as I had thought. But yeah, yeah, right. As a, as it's a, a five-foot bonfire. It's great. <laughs> <You're up. laughs> like, all right, I don't so even know we're this cantrip. We're back at the top of the order. <laughs> Mariel, you are surrounded by two Craig cats. Okay. Um, can you explain I, to me this terrain that the cats are on, like these excellent. little icy blocks and things? Yeah. So this, so this sort of uh, the the white. Or, or rougher cracked stone. This is sort of a, a like the beginnings of like the cave walls and whatnot. So it's kind of running along uh, uh, a little bit of a higher ledge. Uh, it's about okay, so it is like sort of jagged rock protrusions, things I could like duck and hide in. Oh yes, yes. Though if you wanted to duck and hide in terms of the cat's perceptions, like you could duck. There's this stone behind here. There's the boat. You could like try to tuck behind that as well. Okay, yeah, because um, you, you know tuck into I, the wall. One I knew of them. this. I should have done it last turn. But, you know. I say bonus. Yeah, the the rogue's bonus action to hide to disengage your dash is. Yeah. So, can I do that? Can so, I do yes, that uh, it, first? It, it, your turn order does not matter. So okay. you bonus action. I didn't know if I was kind of cheap to be like, oh, I hide and then I oh, shoot him. I mean, like, it is it is cheap, but like as, but long, rogue, as, you're, so. as long as you're successful, it's also very roguish. So. Okay. All right. In that case. So roll to right. I'm guessing roll. you've got to move over here first. Then, yeah? Sneak over this way. Yeah. Okay. Kind of behind. Okay. That will that um, will give you cover from that will that will possibly hide you from this cat. It will not hide yeah, you. Yeah, that was my goal. Okay. Yeah, okay. That one. Okay. Okay, so bonus action hide. All right. So that's gonna be. Roll your stealth check. Twenty-two. Twenty-two. All right. Now, uh, in order to oppose the stealth check, I don't use my passive. I actually roll for a perception check. Correct. Okay. That's up to you. Whatever you say, DM. Let's uh, let's take a goosey gander. See how she see how she do. Ooh, with a fifteen, the cat does yes. not perceive you. It very clearly is hungrily looking at some of those spell casters, being like, "Hmm, um, oh, it's right, a little stringy, but I bet they got some meat on them." <laughs> okay. Right, so, so you are successfully hidden from this. Cool. Oh. Now I'm gonna shoot at it. Yeah. Is it moving, right? No, I. I 
No, it's fine. It's, yeah, it seems to be phasing in and out of existence. With oh, a 19, 19 to hit. Absolutely hit it. You've got advantage. Yeah. Oh, yes, you do. So, crit fish. So, yeah, so so crit fish for that, Fairy L. So, whenever you hide, you go ahead and get advantage on... Advantage? Advantage. Advantage, advantage on your attack. Okay. Roll. So, roll, roll again, again to see if you can Just get a critical. Case. Ah, all right. Well, yeah. the 19 will hit, and that does the 5 plus the sneak attack damage of 4, so that's 9 total damage. All right. That cat is very upset. That's a war, that is. Nice. And then, just to keep the kitties on their toes, I'm going to move just a little bit further over this way. Um, the boat is kind of like... Yeah, kind of on, like wedged like, up against that rock. Yeah. Yeah. Can I, am I, at where I am now, am I behind this boat a little bit or do I need to move here? You need to move it, yeah, like there okay. to get behind it. And there we go. You, I think okay. I, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Yeah, okay, I'm done. All right. That's me. Lovely. Up next is going to be the professor. Yeah, you said over to the east this crag cat is on, is that like a ledge? Yeah, it's, he's about 10 feet up. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and cast Minor Illusion. Uh, mm -hmm. like five feet behind this crag cat and I'm just going to make like the scream of a yeti. Interesting. If I can. Okay. Just okay. to try to throw it off. Okay, okay. Maybe give it something else to think about. Yeah, cat is going to make a... Hmm. Um, if it... A creature yeah, can use its action to examine the sound to determine if it's an illusion. Got it. Using, got, uh, got, got, got. Okay, okay. Intelligence got check. Okay, got it. All right. on, it on its turn? On well, Yeah, it has to take an action to do got it. Got it. Okay. All right. Excellent. Anything further? Uh, that's it. And I'm going to attempt to just slide this way. I'm going to hope that worked and then just put the bonfire between the other cat and myself. Excellent. Excellent. All right. Up next is Xander. So I can't get a melee strike on him then. If he's if he's 10 feet up and he's, he's like 15 yeah. feet away from me. 10 feet up, 15 feet away from you. So you could try shucking something at him if you got something to throw. But, can um, we climb it? You, oh, yeah, you mm -hmm. can climb it. So that'll be what? 15 and then 10 up is difficult. That's going to be difficult. So 15. I couldn't get all the way then. Yeah, that's, no. It's 25. You'd be like right in front of him. <laughs> Hi, kitty. Yeah. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, well, damn. Uh, even though I feel like Meta Buddy knows that you have warned us off of using magic, uh, Xander doesn't know that yet. So. Uh, I'm gonna try Toll the Dead again. Do it. Do it. Alright. Um. Rolls a 21 for its wisdom save. Uh, minus 4, but it don't really matter. Oh, that's right. Minus 4. It's not, gonna ma it's not gonna make a difference. Yeah. Did you Did you already use that d4? I did not use last that d4 time. yet. Okay. Uh, cause I think it should have happened last turn that oh. that negative d4 only lasts until the end of my next oh, turn yeah, which oh just, which is okay so then but you know but we also but we also missed it last turn when it should have applied so okay so then hang on let me go ahead and see so i'll it, it's not going to make a difference here anyway yeah because his, his right. dc is a bit well, low eight, is eight yeah. off of it so yeah yeah it well, but crushed that DC right now. But. Well, that's true. But the last one was only a 17. So there's a possibility that the D4 might have dropped it down. But I only rolled a one on that D4. So you got it. Um, um, neither are uh, are a go. So I guess I'm going to move back a little bit as well. This is. They're going to have to come down. I mean, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. It's going to have to like come down at you. No, no, no. Not at me. Oh, Just come down. He's got to come down. And then lay flat on the ground, <laughs> belly up. You just come here, come yeah. here. I'm like watching Xander Bad run cat. away, and I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna try to yell out like, "Stay near the fire." Yeah. All right, okay. friends. Up next. It, uh, anything else? <laughs> just book it. No, unfortunately. All right, Herrick. 
So, with 25 feet of movement, is there no way I can get up to this crag cat on the right then? You couldn't get up to the crag cat on the right with. Tw oh, and yeah, the other one is. Well, actually, I uh, think you I, could get. The other Ryan, one. I need to interrupt Ryan. Jade, you need to uh, realign the stuff. Amy's power just went out. Oh, oh no. I can't realign it until she comes back, so. Oh. Alrighty. Mm -hmm. Alright then. We've just done the time warp, my friends. Yep. Alright. So, uh, as soon as she rejoins, it'll go back to normal. Yeah. Looks like you'll be able to get to the cat on your left. I will do that then. I'll move there. Yeah. And whack a bitch. All right. <laughs> whack that kitty. Uh, uh, whoa. That's something different, Ryan. Oh, uh, hey, hey. Try to. We don't yuck anybody's yums here. 14. A 14 is a hit. Go okay. ahead and roll your damage. Oh, maximum of 11 damage. Nice. nice. Done. Okay. What do you what do you swing at this cat? The war pick. All right. <laughs> Roll over, kitty. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Type, uh, uh, anything else, Herrick? Well, then, Flynn, you you're up. Do anything with a bonus action? Oh. Nope. All right. Well, I could, but he doesn't know he can do it, so. <laughs> All right, Flynn, you're up. All right. Um, I'm trying to see if I can get. Oh, I can. Okay. Um, is this difficult train over here? No, no. Oh, so so this white patch that Herrick has run across. It. Hang on a second. I'll use the right tool as opposed to just telling you numbers. So this patch right here that Herrick has run across is not difficult terrain. This patch right here is like a little bit of a mountain. So that's a like a mound of dirt and ice and rock. So that's going to be difficult to get around that. What about here? That is totally fine. I'm going to go over there. Whatever is going to put me into like a flanking position. Uh, okay. Okay. So you're not flanking as of yet. In order to flank, you'd have to be like there for Herrick, but I'll just get. I'll just go as far as here, and then yeah, I'll yeah. try to make that my movement next time. Brilliant. Okay. You gonna you gonna hit that kitty? Uh, yeah. As I'm like as I'm going over there, I'm dropping the crossbow on the ground and pulling out my rapiers. I love it. I love it. There we go. First one. It's a fifteen. Fifteen is a hit. Nicely nice. done. Roll that damage. And second one, 24. 24 is a hit. Ow, man. Okay. 11 damage on that first hit and 10 damage. A total of 21 damage done to this cat. Ooh, ooh, ooh. He is he is looking like about down to like two lives. All right. <laughs> Whose All dog right. was that that barked at that? It's yeah, mine. Because it, it just sound, it made it sound like he was looking rough. Yeah, get him, Daddy. <laughs> He's looking rough. Love the show. Yeah. Get that cat. <laughs> All right. Last but certainly never least, Zalvana. All right. Um, I guess since, you know, I'm going to try and help. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I'll help. <laughs> I'm going to try and help. Um, um, I'm going to move over to where Herrick and Flynn are and kind of Flanky, flanky a little bit. All right. I can go there. That is flanking. 10, 15, 20. Is that? It is flanking. Okay. And is, I, I would. It's a large creature. Is Flynn on top of that cat? It is, it is a large creature. I'll give that one. Yeah. All right. So flanking gives you a plus one to your roll. Okay. So go ahead and, and roll your attack. Oh, whatever you're attacking with. Okay. <laughs> I'm fine. You've seen so... creatures. UK, you got this. You attack yeah. it with scritches. Yeah. Okay. Do I do I have to like um, highlight my character again? I'm sorry. Nope. No, no, no. So okay. you can just go ahead and on your D and D Beyond sheet, click uh, next to the. There should be a little crossed weapon icon if you want to use a weapon, yeah. or in terms of your spell, there should be a cast button. Whew, with a dirty twenty on that rapier, that will oh, definitely yay. God. do it just like that. And then on <laughs> roll twenty, you can go ahead and click the little pink box just below it that says rapier, and that should roll your damage for that. With a perfect, six. yeah, nice. Right. Done. And do I? I have a bonus section. Mm -hmm. And as that rapier sinks into the cat, it. Oh, cat! No. And then slumps forward. Tried to eat us. Don't. Zolvana. 
The killing blow is yours on the first Craig cat. Oh. Very nice. <laughs> she's, you know, she's, it's not. She's it's so dead. unenthusiastic. <laughs> oh, this no. is another place where Ryan's leading us down the wrong path. It's not a kitty cat. It's a bloodthirsty murderer who was trying uh -huh. to kill. It screams like people and tries to eat us. It can die. Oh. It screams like people and tries <laughs> to eat us. Like, Ladies and gentlemen, cold like hard people. witch. <laughs> uh, will you put the X on that then, please, sir? Oh. Uh, I, I certainly will. If only... Oh, this makes me nervous when one's dead but not X'd. Yeah, that, that's true. That is very um, true. Let me go ahead. Shoot -a -boop. Yeah, I'm yeah. too far away f too far away to like throw my dagger. Yeah. So so uh, the other Craig cat, seeing its its mate go down, is isn't in... it super concerned about the yeti standing right behind it? You mean? Uh, so uh, <laughs> so with the, with that going off, uh, uh, what is the intelligence perception? I don't know. Yeah, right. Uh, so, like, perception check on that bad boy. It, is... the uh, the spell says investigation i think to try to determine interesting so investigation yeah. is it intelligent? Yeah, i'm talking about more of like would it want to yeah right so yeah, in, I, I in terms know. of like because that's if it wants to investigate it this is yeah. the cat's perception so in terms of like the yeti going off so that sound going off behind it is going to cause the cat to like run away from that sound but certainly as it sees its its mate uh, go down, it's going to try to move in and. Uh, God, where do I want you to go, oh kitten of mine? She did it straight she... into the bonfire. Yeah. Oh yeah, catch on fire. I think it's actually going to make a dash for. Let's, well, hang on. Let's see if it actually make it can make that movement, y'all. So leaping down off of the crag there, does it get the? Oh, yep. 40. Oh no. That'll do it. So it'll move to attack Zolvana. Of course. Did it, it just jump straight over me? Or did it kind of like run down? It kinda, so it ran, it ran on the diagonal past you. So, okay. Yeah. Was it he was, close he was enough also, that I could... was 10 feet above you. Yeah. So remember, you're, you're up against that rock face, Professor. Yeah, that's what I'm asking. It, did it did it jump over me or did it like run down? I'm just wondering. Oh, it would have run there... past you, but because it was 10 feet up, that's five. That's out of your five foot range. Okay, that's all so, I wanted to know. Yeah. No. I hear you. I hear you. So uh, the cat is going to attempt to pounce. If the cat moves at least 20 feet straight forward and then hits with a... Oh, sorry. So, well, interesting. Okay, so then on the same... All right, so then I'm going to try to hit you with a claw attack. Ow. He rolls a 23 to hit. Probably hits me. Yeah, Maybe I'd say that hits you. I'd say that I think that beats your your AC. A little so bit. The, the damage on that is an 11. Oh fuck. And then I need you to make a D. I need you to make a strength saving throw. A strength saving throw. So that'll be in the little box under on the upper left. It's under your ability scores. It says saving throws. Where yeah, just like that. <laughs> How'd she do? It wasn't good. Oh. Six, but. Oof. She hit the right button. You hit the right button. So uh, so the cat like leaps at you, smacks you with its paw, and knocks you to the ground. As it knocks you to the ground, because you are now laying prone, it gets to make a bite attack against you, in, in taking all of its fury out on you for killing its mate. It rolls a 14 for the bite. Mm -hmm. Does that hit your AC? My armor class is 14. Oh, then that is Roll a off. test. So with the contest, we do a roll off. I roll a d20, you roll a d20. The highest number uh, does the pain. You have advantage, Ryan. I do because she is prone. That is correct. All right. So even nice. on oh yeah, well on the attack attack. Yeah. With, so, so just a, a just a regular d, d20 from like here. Ooh. All right. So I got advantage. Now that I did me a lot of oh wow. You know what? All right. Yeah, yeah, okay. So I, I rolled twice and rolled a uh <laughs> rolled a seven and uh and then a six. So uh Zalvana with your ten, you are uh you are able to avoid the cat the cat's beat. So, uh taking the eleven damage from the claws, it is now back to the top of the order. Fariel. Who's not here? 
Who's not here? Her power oh, is out. Curses! Um, I'll, I'll get her. Uh... Oh my god. No I'm... worries. I can get so, her well, thing up. We'll jump to the professor then. Professor? Who is lagging? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh we'll god. He is he is in a slow spell. Alright, here we go. Oh, mind sliver again. Right. Alright, um... so. That's yep. Let's. Am I? Again? Yeah. DC. DC thirteen. Mind save. Again. All right. Oh man! It rolled a twelve. Well done. Roll that. Uh, so that that mind sliver does three psychic. Three psychic damage. So the cat, as it goes to, as it goes to take a chunk out of a, a Zalvana, like the spike goes off in its head. And it's it freaks out. Oh, well done. Uh, All right. Ferrier rolls an 11 uh, stealth. All right. 11 stealth. Four, three psychic damage. All right. Took the three psychic damage. The cat rolls a, a critical fail on perception. It is oh. so invested in Zalvana and trying to kill the thing that killed its mate. Oh, no. Oh, no. With a 10, unfortunately, it does not get through uh, the, uh, the cat's AC. So, uh, the, the arrow goes wide. Oh, she's got inspiration. She does, but she already rolls at advantage. No, but she's got oh. a D6 inspiration. Oh, she does. So, burn that D6? Or did it? Yeah, no, because she hasn't burned it yet. So, oh. Oh. <laughs> however, an 11 <clears throat> is not enough to beat the AC. So, friends, we are now up to Xander. Um, Help. <laughs> well, I'm going to draw my rapier. And right. I'm going to run up and I'm going to take a swingy ding on this guy because I ain't done shit with spells yet. So, swingy ding. <laughs> Swing thy ding. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Uh, 17 to hit. 17 will absolutely hit. Roll that damage. Seven piercing. Seven piercing. Cat is on its last life. Dun, dun, dun. And I Thank don't. I, I, I'm not unfortunately at the point where I have multiple attacks yet. Yes, new. That's an unfortunate thing. Therefore, uh, Herrick Oakenbane, bring us home. Nineteen. To yes. Hit. Nineteen to hit. Uh, seven damage. And a seven damage will put the cat down. Oh gosh! Down, 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 oh gosh! Down, down. You guys, I need, I need, I need a long rest. I'm at like two right now. Ooh. <laughs> so, oh, friends, dear. with that, X him out. Oh, that's it. All right. All right. Is Salvana <laughs> down? No, she has two. Yeah, uh, two. Goodness gracious. Yeah, I'm down to right. two. You should know, Ryan. You attacked her viciously. I, <laughs> I I didn't attack her. The cat attacked her. <laughs> the cat. Uh -huh. That's why we kill like, all cats on sight. Hey, hey. And there's like a cat right behind me too, just like staring at why me. Why must you like... be like that? Why must you blame the cat? <laughs> Gotta be the dog in me. <laughs> why must I feel like that? Why must I chase the cat? My legion with... is called the Wolf Guard. Like it's gonna, it's our like our duty. <laughs> and with that, my friends. With Zolvana clinging to life with two HP left, two dead crag cats, and the ominous four caverns beckoning to them from across the ice. That will be it for tonight's episode of Cold Hard Witch. Cold Hard Witch. <laughs> That's probably yeah. probably good. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. And yeah. It, maybe and maybe take a second, rethink your life choices. Probably can't have a long rest because it's probably only like 10 in the morning. I need a nap. If only we had a we can have a short. We can have a short. But uh, just, just yeah. uh I think Zalvana's about to learn about those hit die real quick. Yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> Next to, week. You need to get yourself a cleric. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Yeah, clerically speaking, he's not wrong. Yeah. Wow, wow. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know.